With this video, I'm going to cover many, many topics covering the world deception. When the Bible states how Satan deceives the whole world, this is very literal. That includes the churches, only giving you half-truths. You watch the news, you get nothing but lies. Now understand the foundation, again, how Satan deceives the whole world. People need to understand this is very literal. I mean, Christians, a lot of Christians, they can't grasp how literal this is. Let's take a look here at the foundation. I've talked about the number 33 many, many times in my presentations. I'm going to connect all the dots where it talks about in the Bible how a third part of the stars of heaven were cast down to earth. It's all going to make sense with the number 33. First of all, let's take a look at the very beginning of the Bible where it talks about creation. This is a very, very important topic I've covered many times with the flatter. This is your foundation. People don't understand the foundation, then you're going to be completely let off course. This is the foundation, the flat earth, the biblical flat earth. It states in the Bible how the sun and the moon are within the firmament. Okay, this is biblical. For Christians that watch this and you believe science where the sun is supposedly 93 million miles away, the moon is supposedly 238,000 miles away, just look at your Bible for the answers. Don't listen to your preacher and pastor who won't give you this truth. It states here in Genesis 1.14, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let there be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Okay? It talks about also how there's a firmament. It's strong and as molten looking glass. It states here, the firmament, which is glass like glass, as you can see here, the firmament, the biblical cosmology, the firmament is the structure above the atmosphere conceived as a vast solid dome. So again, here's your firmament mentioned in the very beginning of the Bible in Genesis, and the two lights are underneath. So again, if you go along with science, and you believe the moon, the moon and the sun are beyond the firmament, this is where the deception starts. If you can't get past this, you're going to be deceived. When the foundation is a lie, with the science books, everything else after is a lie as well. There's another image here. The biblical firmament with the heavens above the waters. It talks about in the Bible, the waters above and the waters below. Everything, again, about science is the exact opposite. The Bible states the earth is immovable, how the sun moves, how the stars fall to earth. And this is key. Very important to understand. There's nothing that can get within the firmament. No asteroids, no meteors, no comets. All a hoax. The Bible talks about creation of the earth. Planets are not mentioned. Planets are nothing more than stars within the firmament. And stars are the key to this video. And again, going back to Job, where it talks about the sky, strong as molten looking glass. And again, this is the biblical firmament, which I mentioned many times in previous videos as you see here. The pillars underneath and the pillars with the firmament. That's why you see this Masonic Lodge. I'm going to talk a lot about masonry. I'm give you truth in plain sight. Here's your pillars, here's your firmament, and the sun is underneath the firmament. This is the correct biblical presentation right here, right for all to see in this Masonic Lodge. Now, talking about the firmament, there's a lot of mockery taking place Lately in the news with Obama, you know, Hillary Clinton making a reference to the glass ceiling. Going back in time, this is back in 2008, when Obama supposedly won the election. He w didn't win the election. Okay, He was selected. But this article talks about glass ceiling breaks with Obama win. And again, how Satanists love to mock. This is God's firmament, which is the supposed glass ceiling. Okay? Talking about more mockery with the big think. The glass ceiling is misleading. And what do you see here? The double 666 hand sign with this presenter. Okay, let's take a look here. Just more mockery. Taking a look at one of the puppets. You see here Katy Perry who said herself she sold her soul to the devil. Take a look at her entire concept. It looks ridiculous and people don't understand. Why is she wearing a cube on her head? What's the deal with this dress? The astronaut. Everything they do, there is a reason for this concept. Basically, 
This dress represents the dome, the firmament, shattered looking glass. Okay? This is the cube. Heaven is a cube, as it states in the Bible. You see an astronaut being raised above through the broken firmament. Again, just all mockery. That's all they're about is mockery. People don't understand the concept, and they're not going to understand. Now, getting back to a very important point of this video, which I want to make here, when it comes to the entire flat earth and the stars, once again, where it states in the Bible, stars fall to earth. As I showed before, the entire concept here, where you have basically supposed asteroids impacting the earth. These are nothing more than falling stars. They're literal falling stars. And this is how you get diamonds. This is even from geology.com talking about how diamonds are formed, supposedly through asteroid impacts again they're actually falling stars literal falling stars now take a look here at this one image as well from the same website talking about again meteorites asteroid impact which creates stars who might think this is ridiculous take a look at this article diamonds can form in outer space okay this is from bbc they tell you outer space but once again everything is within the firmament as i mentioned before that thing beyond the firmament besides the waters above in heaven. So, again, falling stars are literal falling stars, not from so-called meteors or asteroids like I mentioned. And again, the whole entire concept of these stars that create diamonds. This is the key to this video and to understanding this whole entire concept. When you go back to Genesis, how Satan was cast out, the devil... In one third, the third or one third, which is 33 of the stars of heaven were cast to earth. You'll understand again, these are stars from the sky. And this is why you have the 33rd degree in Freemasonry. The highest degree in the Scottish Rider Freemasonry is the 33% of the fallen angels. One third of the fallen angels. And this is why diamond is also 33 in numerology. So it all adds up where stars and diamonds, basically diamonds come from stars that impact the earth. And that's what it's all about. Now, a very important point I want to make when it comes to pyramids. Pyramids are not what people think they are. They're not what they've been told. It all comes down to pyramids are nothing more than diamonds. That's what it's all about. They're diamonds in the sand. Taking a look at this, I found this very interesting right here, where it talks about the pyramids. In particular, Kufa's Great Pyramid at Giza. The geometry of Kufa's Great Pyramid at Giza is even more sophisticated than first perceived. At first glance, from the very first aerial photographs from the 20s, 1920s, it became clear that the pyramid was not set on a square base. Rather, it has a diamond or star-shaped plan. So there you go. These are nothing more again the diamonds in the sand I find this very interesting very fascinating so now you take a look look at more present day in the hidden diamonds in plain sight these pyramids diamonds one and the same with pope pope benedict here take a look you don't see it these are basically 2d pyramids as you can see here the great pyramid and the templar's cross okay just fold it in this is 2d top view of a pyramid to make the Great Pyramid. Now, taking a look at these images. First up, before I show anything with regarding the Catholic Church, take a look here at this Arco logo, Arco gas station. We'll see this all the time. Don't realize what this is. This is the top view of the so-called Illuminati Pyramid, again, which is nothing more than a top view of a, of a diamond. Um, this is duality here, basically. The top view of a pyramid within a pyramid, which are, again, nothing more than diamonds. Taking a look at this image from a Catholic church, where you see two representations of the so-called pyramid, which, again, are diamonds. A standard view with the all-seeing eye. And, again, the top view of the so-called pyramid or diamond for all to see, like I showed here. They are one in the same. Now, getting back into Freemasonry, 
We're all been told this is the all-seeing eye within a pyramid. You see the illumination. This is actually a diamond shining. That's what it's all about. Now, before I continue on, I want to mention one thing as well. Besides stars, we have the firmament, like I mentioned earlier. And what is it made out of? And again to this a little bit more after this presentation. But what it all comes down to is the firmament itself is made out of diamonds. And again, in my previous presentation, which I'll play after this one, I'll go into more details with many, many jewelry companies where they have the firmament basically naming necklaces, earrings, and rings. I'll go into more detail in that video. So much I want to cover with this one. So again, I'll, I'll play that at the very end of this presentation. Now, talking about the all-seeing eye, when it comes to the diamond or the pyramid, I find this very interesting with this quote from Erasmus, the Dutch Catholic priest. Like I stated many times, just like Freemasonry, Catholicism is nothing more than Satanism in disguise, where he states, in the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And this is what you see. This is the all-seeing eye, the eye of the Antichrist. Like I showed many times, this image of all these willing puppets covering the right eye. And again, it's all a reference from Zechariah 11.17 where it talks about the Antichrist blinded in the right eye. Okay? That's what it's all about. This is all about mockery. Again, people have been blinded. The world has been blinded, deceived. When the one-eyed Antichrist arrives at the scene, this is what it's all about now. Talking about people saying, oh, don't put your, don't push your religion on me. Let's take a look here at ACDC. Like I said, Satan deceives the world like the Bible states. Highway to hell, ACDC. You see the devil horns. You see the pentagram. Okay, this is a very, very important topic I want to get into. And you'll see that number 33 everywhere. Again, one third of the stars, the angels were thrown to he from heaven to earth. It's more mockery here with ACDC where it states, let there be rock. Mockery of the Bible where it states, let there be light. Okay, This is what they're all about. They love to mock and again, the number 33. Now again, they talk about, you know, don't push your religion on me when it comes to the Bible. When the, the religion of Satanism is pushed on you daily. All over the TV, all over the place. These people have no idea what's taking place. They've been sucked in, pulled in to the satanic system. Okay? Take a look here. This is rock. They don't get you with rock. They get you with rap. Okay? Any music you follow that's mainstream. It's all about Satan. See the eyes rolled up in the back of the head. This is all about Satanism. All about being demon-possessed. You see Aleister Crowley. Okay? These are just, this guy's just merely a puppet. Just like ACDC are puppets. All sellouts to the Satanists that run this world. Katy Perry. Pushing their religion on you. People don't complain about this. The millions upon millions just love her music. They get pulled in by something sweet to the ears. But it rots the soul. And that's what it's all about. Now taking a look here at this image of Keith Urban. What do you see? This country music singer. Again, the all-seeing eye within the pyramid or the diamond, okay? The 33, the one-third. Now just take a look at Striper, as I mentioned before. Just take a look at this band again. Just nothing about them appears to be from God. You know, again, they control every aspect of society. Any choice you make when it comes to the mainstream, from country to Christian to rock, all controlled by the same people behind the scenes. Basically, no escape. That's the music industry. That's how they control every... A That's the reason they control every aspect of our society. So they get you either way. Any choice you make when it comes to their music and their music industry. And again, talking about Tyler the Creator. This is a mockery of God. Just like ACDC when they say, let there be rock instead of let there be light. Same people, again, behind the scenes, controlling them all. No escape from the satanic system when it comes to the music industry whatsoever. 
And the exact reason the Satanists that own and control this world to control every aspect of our society. Like it states in Matthew, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. And that's exactly what's happening in society. So many reject God in the Bible. Because those that own and control this world, again, control every aspect of our society. And that even includes the churches. Take a look here at Paris, France, on top of this, of the Notre Dame Cathedral. Just take a look at this Bible verse, from 1 John 5, 19. The whole world is lying in the power of the wicked one. And again, this includes the churches. Before I get to the churches a little bit, take a look here at France. Once again, Paris, France. In the area code. Just swap us to be 33. I'm going to talk a lot about, again, the 33. Satan's number, basically. Take a look here, again, at the top of Notre Dame, the cathedral. You see, they're always about the numbers. At first, it might seem like a coincidence, but they're always about the numbers. Notre Dame construction started on 1163. 11, 6, 3, 3. You get your 11, you get your 6, and 3. You get your 9, you get your 9, 11 in reverse. Okay? I think it's just a coincidence. Let's take a look here inside the Notre Dame Cathedral. And what do you see? You see the 9 bells. I covered the cult of the bells. You see a total of 9 bells here. This is all about Satanism. As i shown before. This is from the Satanic Service. Talking about anti leve during this ritual, he picks up a large brass bell, waves it over the altar to sanctify it, and slowly revolves it counterclockwise before his followers. He rings the bell nine times. Satan's number is number nine. You understand, when you see this gargoyle or demon on top of Notre Dame's cathedral, what is this? This is a sign of evil. They'll give you false meanings. They'll tell you this is to ward off evil. No, it's not. They always, again, give you false meanings for everything. And again, taking a look at the nine bells, Satan's number. It reminds me of this album cover, Tom Johnson, Nine Bells. You get the star symbolism as well. Now, getting back on topic when it comes to the foundation of the 33, and Freemasonry, which is nothing more than Satanism, once again in disguise, you see the so-called pyramids, which again, or nothing more than diamonds. You see the dual 33s, and you see all the signs and symbols. This is what they're all about. Words are all about deception, and signs and symbols is what they're all about. Just take a look at the top of this cap here. Get a close-up here, and you'll see the sign here. And this is, again, a sign of Balfamet for those who have followed my channel. So show here as well, close-up of the two 33s. And notice he has his mallet here, this is all about judging. I'll get to that a little bit as well. First off, again, taking again a look at this sign on top of this Mason's cap. Again, they're all about signs and symbols. Taking a look at Aleister Crowley, and that's it is the symbol for Balfamet. Okay. Again, signs and symbols are what they're all about. Taking a look at this image here, or this photo, I should say, of former President Gerald Ford at a Masonic Lodge receiving a this plaque. What do you see right above him? Let's take a closer look here. And you see that G. I mentioned before many times, that's the that's the number 33. Go on the alphabet, 1 through 26 is A through Z. You wrap back around, G is 33. Now look, take a look at his tie. A very interesting tie he's wearing here. Let's remind you, of get a little bit of a close-up. This is from a newspaper article. It's a little bit blurry, not the best quality. But you can definitely see the symbol for Balfamet, just like oh, this is how they do it. Again, words are about deception. Signs and symbols rule this world. That's what it's all about, the sign for the Masonic Go God, Balfamet with the star on his forehead. You just take a look at this image here as well. The Sovereign Grand Commander, again the 33, Balfamet the symbol. You see here Henry C. Clausen. Recently, he removed the Henry just so he can get the, the CC for 33. That's what it's all about. And again, 
sign of Balfamet. Understand, again, when I talk about the mallet, the gavel, I should say, when it comes to the court system, and why do they have this? It comes to masonry. Everything they do, there is a reason. But above all, my brothers, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath. And this is why masons take the oath. They do everything in opposition of the Bible. But let your yes be your yes, and your no be your no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. This is from James 5.12. Do you understand everything they do, there's a reason, every single concept they devise, all against the Bible. Now take a look here, getting back to diamonds, like I said, pyramids are nothing more than diamonds in disguise. Basically what it's all about. You take a look at this Masonic Lodge, and they have the diamond symbol. You course you invert the diamond over and you get your pyramid and again I talk about how the Masons own and control every aspect of our society it's not just empty words this is very literal just take a look at the game of baseball it's only baseball every single sport that's out there you see on TV they own and control it all just take a look at the foundation take a look at this book by Christopher Murphy brothers of the diamond you look at a baseball field they call it a baseball diamond. You understand and know who is behind it. It's the Masons. Again, behind every aspect of our society. Who says, Brothers of the Diamond. Again, Diamond is 33. Freemasonry and professional baseball. And again, the G is 33. Alphabet A through Z is 1 through 26. When you flip it over, once again, G, you bet you get back to 33. Now let's take a look at the actual creator of baseball. There could be dispute about this, but this is 100%. After you look at this portion of this presentation, you'll see it's definitely a Masonic game, 100%. And Abner Doubleday, the former Major General of the Union Army, is behind the game of baseball. Let's take a look here at Doubleday. Just so happens to be 33. And he's a Mason. There's no dispute about this. He was a Freemason. Just taking a look at his tombstone. What do you see? The obelisk. Again, of course, the pyramid, which is actually, like I said, nothing more than a diamond at the very top. Okay. So let's take a look here at the actual baseball field. And you'll see, of course, like I said, the diamond, a reference to the one-third or the 33% falling from heaven. You have here, look at the picture's mound. It's, it's exactly 18 feet in diameter, of course, this is coded for 666. You get three sixes, you get your 666. Just like the pitcher's mound to home plate is exactly 60 feet, 6 inches. 6 times 6 is 36. Again, you get your 666 with the distance from the, from the pitcher's mound to the plate to the diameter itself. They're both 666. Now, taking a look at the on deck circle, there's two, as you can see one for the home, one for the visitors. This is your sun, and this is your moon. Okay, you get your diamond, and your sun, and your moon. Again, this is all the concept of the sky. You see here this old concept artwork, again, with the sun, and the moon, and the diamond, representing the stars, the fallen stars. Now, take a look here in the outfield. You have that movie called Angels in the Outfield. But what do you see here? used to be called just the Anaheim Angels. Now it's called Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Of course, Los Angeles means City of Angels and Anaheim itself. Just so happens to be out of all locations, the, the team that's called the Angels on the third third parallel. And again, every little detail, everything they do, it's not by chance, not by coincidence. It's by design. And of course... Los Angeles on the 34th parallel, the city of angels, just off the 33rd. Again, taking a look here, this top vantage point of this baseball field. Actually, you see the football field as well as a multi-purpose stadium. What does this look like? The square and the compass, just spread out, but the same exact thing. No doubt whatsoever who owns and controls baseball and everything else. So the Freemasons. Now, I mentioned this before with Harry Carey, 
the former Chicago Cubs baseball announcer. Taking a look at his restaurant located in Chicago, you see the DeLorean. And you see the address, 33rd West. Okay, what does it remind you of? Just like recently, supposedly passed Muhammad Ali. He gave him a street in New York. Out of all the thousands of streets, he gave him West 33rd Street in his honor. One of their puppets in the game, Muhammad Ali, just like Harry Carey. And like I stated many times, making top of this world, you must be a mason. The rest of us, we just get the crumbs in this world. It's that simple. There's no other way when masons control every aspect of our society. Now, taking a look here, talking about baseball and now football, you have the start time, local time at 3.30. Of course, you get your 33. Let's take a look at this past Super Bowl from a few years back with the Patriots versus Seahawks. It was held at the University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. First off, you'll see the orange. Orange is 33 in numerology. As you can see here, as I showed many times, the only color, numerology is 33. And again, University of Phoenix, which represents the Phoenix itself rising out of the ashes, just like the Antichrist. It's held again in Glendale, Arizona, which just so happens to be on the 33rd parallel. Not only that, Glendale, the name itself, this is how far they go. There you go, Glendale is 33 as well. So Glendale is 33 in numerology. It's on the 33rd parallel. This is how far these Masons go that own and control all of our society. Now, taking a look here once again, it comes to football. Again, another Super Bowl from years ago, not too many years ago, with the Ravens versus 49ers with a 33-minute power outage. This is those behind the scenes saying we own and control it all. They pull the plug just so they can have this 33-minute power outage. Psychopaths at work when they do things like this. Now, again, take a look at stadiums. The concept of stadiums, such as the Sun Dome in Florida. Again, the sun is underneath the dome. The firmament. As you've seen here, as I've shown in previous videos, this image of the firmament above the circle of the earth. You also get the sky dome with the sun within the dome, within the D of the dome. Okay? The first dome stadium was the Houston Astrodome. And understand the whole entire concept revolves around NASA's supposed space program. Just take a look at the grounds crew, as you can see here, all wearing orange once again for 33. They say orange is the new black. You get your orange and black. These are, of course, the Halloween colors as well. Just like I mentioned before, the San Francisco Giants being orange and black. Before they were the Houston Astros, they were the Colt 45s. And again, you get your 4 and 5, you get your 9, and that is Satan's number. So again, always the occult when it comes to these sports teams. Every aspect, again, of our society. Also, look at the orange with the Colt 45s. You have the two guns crossing. Just reminds me a lot of skull and bones or the X symbol. Just like with the orange, with the Texas Longhorns, you see here, Matthew McConaughey, MM for 33. Any way to incorporate Satanism when it comes to, again, every aspect of our society. Of course, people, you know, Texas, oh, this means the Texas Longhorns has nothing to do with Satanism. Satanism was around well before Texas Longhorns were around. So people need to understand that. And these people, these Satanists, have been around from the very start. Again, understand the concept when it comes to the Astrodome with NASA. Take a look here at the upper deck of the Houston Astrodome with the rainbow seats. Okay, this, re this is a reflection of the dome above us, the firmament, as I mentioned before, as you can see here. Okay, that's how you get your, your rainbows, the reflection from above the dome. And that's why the Houston Astros had these uniforms with the rainbows. And he had the, going back in time, this is Mike Scott, the former pitcher for the Houston Astros, their ace pitcher, just so happened to be number 33. Okay, this is how they do it. Now, another form of mockery when it comes to the Astrodome, 
when home runs were hit. Just and every time a Houston Astros player hits a home run, they show this graphic on the scoreboard. The ball going through the, the dome. Of course, a mockery of God's firmament. People watch these sporting events and they have no concept of what is right in front of them. With all the mockery that's taking place with those behind the scenes that are once again Satanists. Now, looking at other stadiums, in the past you had the Pontiac Silver Dome, and silver is a reference to lightning. It's like you see here with quick silver lightning with this movie. Take a look at the old Silver Dome. It so happened to have a capacity of 80,311 seats. Of course, you get your 311 for 33. Again, everything they do, every little detail, even to the amount of seats, in this case, with the Silver Dome, always about the occult. And another reference to the dome when it comes to movies, with the Thunderdome, as I've shown before. The Masonic Compass on the chest, to the Black Rope for Freemasonry, Take a look at the director, George Miller. You see the Masonic hand sign, the glasses, the 666 hand sign, the Eye of Illumination. Now, it just so happens that Miller is 33. This is, talk, this is what I talk about when you have a 33 name. It could be a first name, a last name, or a combined name. If you have a 33 name and you're a Mason, you're going to be propped up in this world. Just take a look here. Mad Max director, George Miller and Mel Gibson during filming of Beyond Thunderdome. And don't tell me he's saying I love you or is a he's a Texas Longhorn fan. Give me a break. These are devil horns. Okay? These are all Satanist behind the scenes. Wouldn't be where he was or is if he wasn't going along with the Satanists that own and control this world. Talking about Mel Gibson, take a look as well. Combined name Mel Gibson 33. There you go. Now, talking about Directors such as George Miller. Look at George Lucas here with Lucasfilm. Okay? Always about the occult. Lucasfilm itself is 33. You got the dome. Okay? You have the sun and the moon. Just like I showed with baseball, the sun and the moon with the, the on deck circles. There you go. That's how they do it. They even have a little, little hidden pyramid right inside, right above the dome. It's Lucas Arts as well. This is part of the the Masonic sign, you have the compass, and this is the square. Okay? You have the man standing here in gold. This is duality. You have the all seeing eye with the sun, sun rays, but this is an eyeball. The head represents the eye as well. Now talking about how George Lucas and those that work closely with him, such as Ralph McQuarrie, the conceptual artist for Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. So taking a look here at this image here. This is the Battle of Hoth concept image. And you see a snow trooper, a Hoth trooper. What do you get here? You get your hidden 9 11 2001. You got your 9. You have your 11. You got your 01 for again 9 11 2001. You got the orange stripe in the back for 33 years. The the towers came down after 33 years. Construction started in 1968. Towers, of course, came down in 2001. That is 33 years. So 2001 coming down in 33 years. Everybody except the public knew the towers were going to come down. That leaves you with the Freemasons that are behind the scenes. You read this article with George Lucas right before the filming, or during the filming of The Phantom Menace, which was released in 1999. It states here, why is the public so stupid? This is exactly how they love to mock when he's talking about things like this. Okay? The public is so stupid. They don't believe in conspiracies when the conspiracies are put right in front of your face. This is how they love to mock. Okay? The, the public, general public, are morons. They're completely mind-controlled. And I hate to say that, but that is the absolute truth. Take a look at Ralph McQuarrie here. And understand, George Lucas is not, not going to have a non-Mason working side by side with him, 
with all the concept art, every aspect of the upper part of production when it comes to his movies. Again, they're all Freemasons. Just take a look at the supposed date of his death. Just happens to be March 3rd. Of course, March is the third month of the year. And you get your three. You get your 33. I'm not saying this man is not dead, but more than likely, this number of his death date of 33 is probably fabricated. More than likely, maybe he died a few days before or after. But they want to get that 33. This is how obsessed these Satanists are with the 33. Now look at the concept with Empire Strikes Back and George Lucas with the Cloud City car. The twin pod cars all about duality. Now again, talking about 9-11 and everybody knowing that 9-11 was going to take place except the general public. Taking a look at James Cameron, of course, the famous director, the Titanic, Terminator, Avatar, many, many movies. Just like, again, everybody in Hollywood, they're all Masons. Just like George Miller was 33, take a look at Cameron. Get your 33 as well. Just like David Cameron with the Queen. This is how, again, these people that are behind the scenes, they're obsessed with the number 33. Again, a reference to the fallen stars or fallen angels. Just taking a look here as an example, again, getting back to the concept of 9-11 understanding these are masons behind the scenes specifically talking about james cameron here take a look at the 1986 aliens movie and what do you see here see the actor with the masonic ring on his hand you can see even turned a little bit towards the camera this is how they love to mock many people have seen this with 1991 terminator 2 judgment day States caution 9-11. This is called revelation of the method. This removes their supposed guilt. They're warning you about what's going to happen before it happens. Again, all about mockery with Satanism. Just like gremlins, the first gremlins, as I've shown before, with the radio, sapphire being the September stone, and the Roman numeral 11. You get your 9-11. Even the dial, the red or the orange strip, the pointer is between the 9 and the 11. Exactly other than that. Take a look here at Grumman's 2. You see Eric Shaw, and he was the first reporter for Fox News to report on 9-11 from the ground. And you have the microphones at 9-11. Okay? The movie Patriot. 9 pounds, 11 ounces. That's perfect, perfect. So again, everybody knew that 9-11 was going to take place except the general public. Now, talking about more mockery when it comes to movies, I'm going to show this image once again. The Sovereign Grand Commander of the, the 33rd degree of Freemasonry. You see the double 33s? Now take a look at this movie scene from Full Metal Jacket. Well, everybody's focusing on the prostitute, especially the men. What do you see in the background? The dual 33s again. Masons run this world. They run every aspect. I've said it a million times, just hammering the point. And again, the double 33s. I'm taking a look here at Washington, D.C., and you see the G once again. The streets of D.C. Flip this image over here. You can see the G, the square, and the compass. All about the 33 once again with the G. Alphabet going all the way to 33, you get your G. Taking a look here, as I showed many times as well, Albert Pike, a 33rd degree Mason, a former Southern General, and the creator of the KKK. There you go, 11, 11, 11, 30. That's why they changed the clan from a C to a K, so you get your 33. Now, understand here, talking about mockery, with these two black female models with Justin Timberlake. They love that name Timberlake. Timber, they're all about tree worship, just like Hollywood. That's how they get the name Hollywood. It derives from the Holly Tree, which is all about witchcraft with ancient druids using the Holly Tree to make magic wands and witches' wands. That's how you get Hollywood. It's all about witchcraft. And again, the mockery of these two black models with a three and three. That, there's a reason she's turning her back 
to the side so you can see the three. She's not doing it her own. There's someone that obviously knows all about the occult of masonry and they're directed to do this. You get your three and your three again. All about the KKK and Albert Pike, who just so happens to be resting right now in D.C. as well. You know, one of their own in D.C. And they have a statue right now up as well of Albert Pike in D.C. As you can see here with Albert Pike in Washington, D.C. Now, taking a look at these diamonds, getting back to diamonds in 33. Let's take a look here, this one this diamond ring from this one company. Black diamond fashion ring. 14K yellow gold with 33 diamonds. These people that own these jewelry companies, they're all masons. And they know exactly what they're doing with these concepts of 33 diamonds. Just like right here with this company located in Whittier, California. Okay? Black Diamond Evil Eye Necklace. Colby Madison Jewelry. Again, this is in Whittier, California. And just take a look at the details. Sterling Silver, 33 diamonds. Okay? 18 inch sterling, 18. Get your 666 as well. And again, Whittier is on the 33rd parallel. This is how far these masons go. Now getting on to Disney here, and of course Walt Disney, being a 33rd degree mason, of course Club 33, you get the black and white duality. Taking a look here once again, getting back on the subject of diamonds, you have Aladdin the diamond connection. Again, every little detail. Take a look at the release date information. You get September 29th. Of course, September is the ninth month of the year. You add your 2 and 9, you get your 11 for 9, 11. October, the only month that is 33 in numerology. Again, every little detail, every little aspect. And though Walt Disney has passed away, they still carry on the tradition with Masons behind the scenes. Same thing with Peter Pan. Get your duality with the two piece. They love the duality. Take a look here once again. Disney Resort Diamond Celebration with this bag. There's always little hidden so-called Easter eggs. Before I show it, let's take a look here. As many people have already seen Walt Disney's logo. You get the three hidden 666s. Six, six, you have the 666 six, six over the art of Disney. Over the so-called ball earth. Now again, getting back to the bag. Again, the hidden Easter eggs. You have the 60th anniversary. And what do you see here? You only have three sixes showing on this entire bag in the front here. Get your six from 60. In numerology, the zero means nothing. You get your six. You get your six. You get your six once again for 666 with Walt Disney. Carry on the, tr the tradition, even though Walt Disney has passed now. The entire concept of Mickey Mouse, of course, with the double M's, turn that M sideways, and you get your 33. Just like Marilyn Monroe. Michael Myers, Marty McFly, Mork and Mindy, Mad Max, the list goes on and on. And of course, the ears themselves. People wonder why Mickey Mouse's ears are rounded. Of course, you get your three. Fits right inside perfectly. You get your 33. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Take a look at this image of this mug. The whole concept as well with the name Mickey. First, I want to show before I even show that. Let's take a look here. At the Satanic Law of Reversal with Aleister Crowley, it goes back even further to Elephas Leve, where they learn to write backwards, walk backwards, listen to phonographic records backwards, speaking backwards, read backwards. They say the Lord's Prayer backwards in the Satanic Church. This is, again, all about Satanism. Taking a look here at this mug with Mickey. And you'll understand why Walt Disney came up with the concept of the name with Mickey. It's all about duality with the mirror image of Mickey being wicked. This is, again, why they learn how to do things in reverse and why they love the mirror image of duality. Get a clear image here of Mickey is wicked. Okay. Now, again, talking about you know, not only Disneyland, I'm going to get back into Disney, but let's take a look here at Michael Jackson. Okay. The concept for the backslide. Okay, there's many people that did it before him. Take a look at what he does here. Of course, with the backslide, also known as the moonwalk. Okay. Again, this is all about the law of reversal. 
Okay. Michael Jackson was always a puppet. Okay? Again, understand the concept. And just taking a look at the entire concept of the backslide itself, the name. Backslide. Relapse into bad ways or error. Relapse, lapse, regress, weaken. Lose one's resolve. Given into temptation to go astray, to leave the straight and narrow. Fall off the wagon. Again, there you go with backslide. Every little detail, once again, they come up with all these concepts. All about Satanism, believe it or not. Now, getting back on the topic with Disneyland and Walt Disney. They went out of their way to create or build Disneyland on the 33rd parallel. Address is 1313 Disneyland in Anaheim. Like I stated before, Anaheim is on the 33rd parallel. And also, the name Anaheim itself is 33 numerology. Get your duality with the name and location. And also, it's in Orange County. Like I stated earlier, previously, Orange is 33 in numerology. So many 33s when it comes to Disneyland. So, if people think that these Satanists go out of their way for that number 33 for no reason at all. This is a lot of effort to get all your 33s in. If you think Satan does not exist and God does not exist, you are 100% deceived. For these people to go out of, way, out of their way for something that is not literal. Okay? Now let's take a look here as well at Taco Bell. Okay, you, everybody knows about this, or they should know about this with Taco Bell and the all-seeing eye within the belt, the six within the inner ring of the belt, the whole entire concept with the design of the newer restaurants. Now let's take a look at the founder, Glenn Bell. Now I'm going to play a previous video all about the occult of the bell, just like Hell's Bells, like I showed earlier with the ritual in Notre Dame in the nine bells. Now let's take a look here again at the founder of Taco Bell, Glenn Bell. Glenn Bell is supposedly born in Linwood, California. Let's take a look at Linwood. Okay. Again, just so happens to be on the third third parallel. Let's take a look here at Linwood. Also in numerology, Linwood itself is 33. All about duality. Okay. Now let's take a look here again at Linwood. And the city seal is a star. Of course, like I stated earlier, stars are diamonds for 33. It's all about the occult, as always. Now, they say Glenn Bell died in 2010 at Rancho Santa Fe. Rancho Santa Fe just happens to be Satan's number, number 9. 4 and 5 is 9. And also, the Heaven's Gate cult was supposedly also went down at Rancho Santa Fe, California. Now, again... This is how deep it goes with those behind the scenes pushing the number 33. Again, Glenn Bell. Let's take a look at this. The name Glenn Bell itself is 33. It's unbelievable how this world is run off the number 33. Now, let's take a look here at this footage of this Taco Bell and take a look at what you see. This man's going through the drive through Take a look at these lampshades. What do you see? These are the Masonic square and compass. People go through these drive throughs have no clue what this is all about. All they want to do is pick up their food <laughs> and again this is how those with the occult knowledge love to mock. Specifically Glenn Bell and his corporation Taco Bell Take a look here at this doorway, and you see the so-called pyramid again. Nothing but a diamond in reality with the bell. The bell and the diamond, or pyramid symbolism, all wrapped into one. Okay? Now, again. Now, again, I mentioned how Glendale, Arizona, was the site of the Super Bowl, the past Super Bowl, with the Patriots and Seahawks, the 33rd. Also, Glendale is 33 as well. So, see what's taking place with the Masons that own and control this world. When you're on a 30 on the 33rd parallel, 
A lot of times we're going to find a 33 name to match. Again, about duality. Now, what if you don't live on a 33rd parallel location? Let's take a look here first off. This representation of Lucifer and the twin pillars in black and white with duality. Let's take a look here at Kenosha, Wisconsin. Okay, of course, not on the 33rd parallel. They're going to find a way to get the occult in with the all seeing eye. The eye of Lucifer, or also known as the one eyed Antichrist. Also, with the state seal of Colorado, this Neil Sin Newman, which means nothing without the deity, deity. And you see, again, the so called pyramid, which is nothing more than a diamond. You get your, basically, you get your X and X, basically 21 in Roman numerology. Pretty interesting how all these little concepts, every little detail they do, and of course the stars and the pyramid are diamonds, all one and the same. Now take a look here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna play this previous video at the end of this presentation. Still have a ways to go. I mentioned this before, going back in time with the Beatles, the song "Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds," six 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 hand sign, the devil horns, and of course diamonds. With the stars. Of course, Rihanna were beautiful like diamonds in the sky, like basically demons in the sky. Again, I'm going to show this here. This kid's, kid's song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, How I Wonder What You Are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. They're telling you exactly what a star is in this song. You're act, they're asking, like, you're wondering. What a star is, and they're telling you it's a diamond. Okay, when you're a child, they're telling you, but nobody gets this. And people live the whole entire lives and never get it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now again, showing the diamond, shine bright like a diamond from Rihanna's song. Again, you flip it over, and you get your pyramid. Okay, that's all it is, right there. Now talking about Rihanna's song, or the Beatles song, I should say. Lucy in the sky with diamonds, and you have this, this one group. You have the song titled "Lucifer in the Sky with Diamonds." Literally, their song is "Lucifer in the Sky with Diamonds," the shining one. And look what you see here within the pyramid. Basically, the double horns representation, the pyramid symbolism, and of course the diamond along the outside. Now let's take a look here. This one image, Devil Diamond. Okay? Now, taking a look here at Marilyn Monroe MM433, which diamond is as well. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Of course, Marilyn Monroe, just a fictitious name, just to get your MM433. That's what it's all about. Going back in time with Carol Channing also... CC for 33. She came up with the concept of the song. I find it interesting too. Also born on January 31st. You get your January is the first month of the year. You get your one. You get your one. You get your 311. You get your 33 twice with her date of birth and the initials with her name. Take a look here at well known Satanist King Diamond with Morgan Freeman. This guy is an outward Satanist. Obviously, he's a sellout. He would never made it so big in Hollywood unless he sold out. You have to pay a price, which the public never sees, to be part of this club, without a doubt. Now, let's take a listen to this song, going back to the 80s. It's a song by Alphaville. The title is Forever Young. And just take a look at the video concept itself. There you go. Diamond in the sky. Just like Lucy in the sky with diamonds with the Beatles. How they love to mock. People without cult knowledge, which is, you know, 99.9% .9 of the public will not get this. So just watch this video and say, oh, what a beautiful song. What a beautiful, you know, what beautiful stars. They have a diamond in the sky and have no idea of what's taking place with diamond 
being 33 once again in stars. Diamonds from stars. And diamonds are forever. They're talking about demons are forever. He even has the orange colored jumpsuit as well. And understand, of course, these concepts, these songs are not from these supposed artists. They're given to them to sing to the millions and millions of people throughout the world who have no idea, and I seriously doubt this singer himself has any idea of the occult knowledge. He's just given these songs to sing, and that's it. And he's paid, you know, basically on the payroll to sing the song and is clueless of what this really means himself. Now again, talking about diamonds or diamond with Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond Dreams. Almost like Neil to the diamond with Neil Diamond. Again, if you have these occultic names, I'm not saying this is a fabricated name, but if you have a occultic name, it's only going to help you. If you have no talent, it's not going to help you. But if you have a little bit, it could bring you somewhere in this world where these occultists basically have, again, a full stranglehold over. Take a look at this movie with Sean Connery. Diamonds are forever. What do you see in the sky? This diamond, and it's illuminating. So when you see a pyramid... Like people see many times illuminated in the sky when it comes to Freemasonry, again, it's basically a diamond. Now, talking about 33 in Hollywood, taking a look at this movie, Pulp Fiction, where this scene where Bruce Willis is in a pawn shop while a man downstairs in the basement area is basically being raped or sodomized, I should say, basically one of the same. He's looking for a weapon to basically take out the the people are there perpetrating this sexual act on this man. He's looking for the weapon. What do you see in plain sight? The race car with the number 33. Who was the director? Quentin Tarantino. Again, there you go with the Balfament. As above, so below. And duality doing the devil horns at the same time. Take a look here also at Pulp Fiction at the briefcase itself. So happens to be combination 666. Again, not make it unless he sold out. All these are occultists. Now talking about Satanism in Hollywood, taking a look at Sammy Davis Jr. with the founder of the Satanic Church in San Francisco, California, Michael Aquino, Temple of Set. Take a look here at Sammy Davis Jr. starring in Poor Devil. Okay, Doing the Devil horns. Doesn't mean I love you. This is the sign of the devil. Okay. Now understand here, this photo was after a Sammy Davis Jr. performance in San Carlos, California at the Circle Star, just like you see here with Michael Aquino. Here is the actual location. It's no longer there. This is quite a few years ago. Can you see the circle and the star within the circle? It's all about the occult with Satanism with a star within the circle. Gold and silver star. Just like Hollywood stars. All about the occult of the diamond. That's what it's all about. And also, I should mention, Sammy Davis Jr., after this event in San Carlos, California, became a warlock in the Satanic Church. And more interesting details about the circle star. Many famous performers. Elvis, you have Air Supply, Dionne Warwick, Many, many, many famous celebrities, such as Bill Cosby, to the Beach Boys, to Richard Pryor. Old event back from 1981. It's a little, basic little auditorium. Wasn't too big. But again, they love this occultic theater with the Circle Star. All about Satan. And take a look at this one. Old advertisement. You had the Charles Daniels Band, Patti LaBelle, the occult of the bell. You have George Clinton. Clinton is 33 as well. Many, many, again, famous performers performing at the Circle Star. Now, talking about stars, let's move on to government in Washington, D.C. Many people have bought into the lie that the Founding Fathers were Christians, when nothing could be further from the truth. When you look at the actual construction of the streets, and you see the inverted star, that's all you need to see. And this one in particular is a broken one. I'm going to get into that in a little bit. Just take a look at the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. These Medal of Honors are all inverted stars, just like the Satanic Pentagram. 
should be pretty obvious with the stark concept of the streets in front of the White House. These are the people that run this world, the bloodline of the fallen ones and their minions. Taking a look here at George Washington, again, the supposed Christian founding fathers of the U.S., nothing but a Freemason, states here, Freemason first, and then first president in that order. That tells you the order of importance. Again, getting back to Albert Pike from his book, Morals and Dogma. He talks about masonry, like all religions, and all mysteries, hermeticisms, and alchemy conceals its secrets from all except the adepts and sages, or the elect, and uses false explanation and misinterpretations of its symbols to mislead those who deserve only to be misled to conceal the truth. And that is the masses. And even lower level masons, only the very top, like it says, the very elect, basically know what the signs and symbols mean. And getting back to the concept, we'll ask why it's not a full pentagram and why it's broken at one end. It's all about masonry once again in Satanism. From famous Masonic writer Manly P. Hall, where he states, the broken pentagram is used by black magicians to conjure up demons in order to control them for their selfish desires. Very interesting. Now, taking a look here at Obama, you see him putting on a medal of honor on a soldier here, the upside down pentagram. You see here, it's a very important symbol. Now, taking a look here at Lockheed Martin, talking about the broken pentagram. I just mentioned with Manly P. Hall, all these top companies. And military is all about death. Lockheed Martin, you have your broken pentagram. And here's a, basically in front of the headquarters of Lockheed Martin Space Systems. Again, the broken pentagram. Now, talking about masonry and it being a worldwide enterprise and how Satan deceives the world, and this world is owned and controlled by Satanists. Take a look at these Russian patches. The space program, let's get a little bit of a close-up look. Before I do that, let me just mention right here, with the former Soviet Union, and you have what looks like three C's and a P, this is actually an R, and this is the S sound. Basically, you get your three, three C's for three, three, three. What it's all about. Okay, let's take a close look here at these patches. It says Mir. It's all about duality. Mir in Russian means peace. It also means world. Taking a look at these broken pentagrams. Basically reversed from the Lockheed Martin, ver Lockheed Martin version, but basically one of the same. It's just inverted. All about duality. And I should have mentioned this a little bit earlier, but it says here in Russian, Zvezda. And Zvezda means star. And so there's no doubt this is representing a star, a broken star. Now, take a look at this one patch. It's also a Russian patch. What do you see here? The lights in the sky. And this is none other than, of course, the Masonic Square and Compass. Just like I showed it many times with Flash Gordon in this scene. With Ming the Merciless. Basically, it looks like Satan, a representation of Satan. You see the star symbol on his chest. And here's... Clytus, his right-hand man, and you see the Masonic square and compass once again. Here's General Kayla, also from Flash Gordon, and you see again the three square and compasses. From a distance, it almost looks like two X's as well, and there is your, uh, as above, so below, basically two diamonds or pyramids that makes a star. Very interesting concept. Now, talking about interesting concepts... Again, when I, talk, when I talk about Lockheed Martin, a subcontractor here, it's one company called In-Depth Engineering. Again, under subcontract to Lockheed Martin. See this one system they have, it's called Integrated Submarine Imaging System, or ISIS. It's all about the occult of ISIS. With all these companies just showed all the broken pentagrams. Take a look here when it comes to which I find interesting, going back in time, back to 1990 during this broadcast on C-SPAN, talking about Israel 
Israeli Secret Intelligence Service basically stands for ISIS. Goes back even further. Take a look here. Comes to the royal family. Of course, the connection with Egypt. And Princess Diana had a perfume called Isis. Taking a look at the dollar sign. Basically, it's coded for Isis. You spread out two S's or two serpents. Basically, these represent two thigh bones. With the occult. You get the occult of Isis. Of course, in the back of the U.S. dollar, the all-seeing eye with the pyramid. With the more likely, like I said, a diamond than a pyramid. Because pyramids, all they are, are diamonds in the sand. Now, talking about connection, Princess Diana, and all these in the U.S., in the Vatican as well, with the cult of the obelisk. And to me, we all have heard this is the phallus symbol, and it is. But again, Freemasonry is all about duality. This is basically a diamond in the sky. Okay? Like I said, pyramids are diamonds. That's the whole structure. So again, duality. Got your phallus symbol and your diamond. And more occult hidden in plain sight with the entire concept of diamond and 33. Let's take a listen to this interview with Tyra Banks talking to Beyonce. And listen to what is said here. Love. And then in your new song, too, what is like, he's like me and my boo, but he doesn't say boo, and you do that? Is that a sign for your name or something? What is that? Is that that's the Rockefeller sign. Oh, the look diamond. at me. You just heard her just say, it's the diamond. Take a listen once again. It says it's a diamond. Not a pyramid, a diamond. But again, pyramids and diamonds are one in the same. It's all about duality with Freemasonry. Rockefeller sign. Oh, look diamond. at me. I'm so... Now take a look here at this image with Jay-Z and you see Rihanna. They talk about throwing up the diamonds. Duality with diamonds and pyramids. Three diamonds or three pyramids. They're again one and the same. Now, I found this very interesting when it came to Beyonce. That's Tyra Banks. Let me back up here. Right here a little bit. To Beyonce. Okay? There you go. Beyonce, Diamond, 33. See how they put this all together? Very, very fascinating. Again, Beyonce, the Diamond, in 33, the Diamond sign. Just taking a look here at Angela Merkel. And everybody's seen this image. She's obsessed with the Diamond sign. Pyramid or diamond, but like I said, it all originates from a star to a diamond, to a pyramid. Even this so-called man of God. And of course, with the CC for 33, the diamond, which is 33, every single televangelist you see on TV, they work for the other side. There are no heroes on TV. All you get are these deceivers telling you a lot of truth. This is how Satan works. If you're going to counterfeit a dollar bill, you're not going to use black ink and red paper. You're going to make it look as real as the real thing. And this is what deceivers do. Reminds me of this image of Gloria Steinem. As many people have seen before. Throwing up the so-called pyramid or the diamond. I had an abortion with a smile on her face. I'm talking about abortions, just take a look at Planned Parenthood. Just take a look here at the concept of the building. Just like how they used to sacrifice ancient pyramid type building. Same exact type of construction. Again, every little detail they do. Unbelievable. Complete mockery. Now, another puppet here throwing up the so-called pyramid or diamond sign. Ron Howard. He's been in Hollywood his entire life. I made a video about him in the past. We talked about you know, being on the stage during the filming of the fake moon landings. He tells, he tells a story about this during one of his TV shows. And it's a form of mockery. People say, oh, he's just joking. So this is how they tell the truth, through jokes. Getting back to Beyonce. You see here, she has a perfume called Diamonds. There you go. Every little detail. Now her... 
her husband, boyfriend or husband, with Jay-Z. Okay, you see the diamond sign. Here's former wrestler Diamond Dallas Page, Page Falkenberg. Understand the concept. It's not created by him. He'll tell you that if you ask him who came up with the idea of Diamond Dallas, Dallas Page. He'll tell you he did. But again, these are deceivers, and I'll explain this in a second. Take a look here. When he was wrestling for WCW, and he had Scott Hall as the Diamond Stud. He was a manager back then. This is when he before he was wrestling. Okay? These concepts are not created by them once again. Here you go again. With Diamond Dallas Page and the Diamond Stud. And who owns WCW Wrestling? It's Ted Turner. Ted Turner, for those that don't know, Turner just happens to be 33 as well in numerology. And you, here you see him with Hulk Hogan, HH for 88. Made many videos about that. Just take a look at WCW. And it's coded as well. First off, you see, of course, it's a diamond shape. And you get the WW, turn it sideways, and you get the 33. The C, of course, is the third letter in the alphabet. So you get 333, which is coded for 666. It's how occultists hide the 666, and they love, again, triple-digit numbers. Now, taking a look here, getting back to what you have here, Scott Hall, or the Diamond Stud. Here he is in WWF, known as Razor Ramon, and you see the upside down. Basically, the, the bottom portion of a diamond on his logo, on his trunks, and you also see the marker of Christ. Understand... This whole concept was not his creation once again. His arms out like this, like Christ being crucified, is not by him. It's by this man. This man. Okay? You wonder why it's called WWE and there's no E in the logo. Turn it sideways and there is your 33. These are all Masons. And if you don't believe it, how these Masons love to mock, just take a look here at this skit with R-Truth and Gold Dust bringing pizza. Okay, and what do you see here? He puts the pizza down. He rejects the pizza. And what do you see? You see the hidden 33. Catering, you get your C for 3, and you also get your 33 as well. Okay? Now, with movies, taking a look at Ghostbusters 2. This scene here, so much occult in plain sight. Ray's occult, occult books. And right next to Ray's occult books is the occult of St. Mark's, which is 777 telephone number. Take a look here. From a distance, raise occult books, and what do you see? This is one of those tricky images. From up close, you can see the faces, but from a distance, it looks like th they look like threes. Get two sets, get two threes, that's a six. Again, six, six, you get six, six, six. And the race occultic books. Now, this is all thrown together. It's all just a coincidence. Take a look here at this image. Okay? Ray's occult books on 33 St. Mark's Place, New York, New York. Okay, this is how they do it. Now, taking a look here at this hoax, this psyop, proving how the world is a stage. Take a look at the 33 supposed trap Chilean miners. What do you see here? You see the upside down star or pentagram with a cross, both a form of mockery. Just as you see here with Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, you see the other three sellouts with them, Paul McCartney, the fake Paul McCartney, and you see the shirt with the band Slayer, and of course the upside down pentagram with the cross. So again, it's all Masons, puppets in the game combination of the cross and the pentagram. Now taking a look here, getting back to this hoax, this psyop, this ritual with the 33. Get a capsule lowered down supposedly to rescue people. Okay? It's called Phoenix 2. There's a reason it's not just called Phoenix or Phoenix 1 or Phoenix 3. Let's take a look at just Phoenix alone and why they call it Phoenix 2. Because with Phoenix 1, or Phoenix by itself, I should say, it's just 31. Then you add the 2 to it, 
you get your 33. See, every little detail. And before getting back on topic with the 33, understand all movies, for the most part, are based upon their fabrication. This is their way of reinstilling their fake fabricated history onto the masses. Just like Apollo 13, just like United 93, no planes were used on 9-11. You see here the occult of 3-11 in plain sight. You understand the occult, you'll see it right in front of you. You'll see the three basically prongs from the Statue of Liberty, and you see the Twin Towers. This is the occult of 3-11-33, as always in plain sight. Now, same exact concept besides the blatant 33 in plain sight. The release date is based on 33 as well. November being the 11th month of the year. You get, of course, 11 and 1 is 3. And you add the other 3, you get your 311. Again, this is how far they go with the 33. And of course, you see the orangish color with the 33 as well. Now, talking about diamonds, how important diamonds are with these occultists, the occult of diamond. Look who's starring in the 33. Lou Diamond Phillips. Okay? You have, so happen to have an occultic name, and they, they believe you have some talent, they're going to utilize you, just like Lou Diamond Phillips. Here's the Spanish version, Spanish language version, Lou Diamond Phillips, Lost 33, the cult of 20th Century Fox. Fox is 666 in numerology as well. Taking a look here at Lou Diamond Phillips. You see the occult of the 666 hand sign. The exoteric meaning is A-OK. -okay. The esoteric meaning is 666. And I find it interesting. You have this captured image in the background with the blinded in the right eye representation of the Antichrist like I showed in the very beginning of the video. Now, talking about Chile and people are saying, well, how can they pull off all these hoaxes throughout the world? Once you understand Freemasonry is a worldwide enterprise. Take a look here. And you, by the way, before I talk about Chile here and Freemasonry, take a look at the star symbol. Again, a star, a pyramid, it's all the same. And you get the G for 33 as a diamond as well. Take a look at these images. This one stamp here from Chile, and you see all the Masonic symbols. You see the fake phony ball of earth. Now, this is very interesting. The checkerboard symbol, it represents a pyramid and also a roadway. This is duality, where you see two things in one. They love in mirror images, duality, multiple image, multiple meanings for one thing. That's what they're all about. Also, the University of Chile. As you see here, you see the star or the diamond. You see the star or the pyramid with the all-seeing eye. The fake phony ball earth, the star shining down. You see the Masonic compass. The book, you see the the snake around the rod, the scales of Freemasonry. Now, talking about the occult of San Francisco, so much occult hidden in plain sight, probably one of the most occultic cities in the world. Just take a look at the Golden Gate Bridge. Construction started in 1933, painted orange, international orange, even though it's called the Golden Gate. Take a look here at some of the numbers again. 33 with orange, and also, I should mention it as well, with Halloween and pumpkins, orange of course, orange 33, and also with Halloween, you get October with 33 as well, as I shown earlier. Now, taking a look at these jack-o'-lanterns, and this is the basic concept, three pyramids or three diamonds, okay? This is the basic concept with only three teeth. Why only three teeth? with all these concepts that you see here, turn it sideways, and it looks like a three. So you get orange for 33, you get your other three here with the teeth. Now taking a look here at Taylor Street in San Francisco, California, and this is the Bohemian Club. Take a look at the plaque in the very front, 1933, the same as, as I showed earlier, the Golden Gate Bridge construction date. Now, also, just, just a side note, it says, Weaving Spiders Come Not Here. This is all about you know, no outside dealings within the lodge, within the club. That's what it's all about. Now, I covered this topic before 
I'm going to go into a little bit more detail with the occult of Alcatraz escape, which is nothing more than a fabrication. 100% fabrication. For them to make all the dummy heads in their cells. This is supposedly a maximum security prison. They were supposedly able to smuggle in you know, vacuum parts for to make a drill. Okay, let's take a look at the supposed drill here. Okay, you're going to tell me if they're going to sneak in this drill into one of these cells where there's no wall outlet to cut through the wall. There's absolutely no way. There's absolutely no way. Go into a little bit more details about the occult of Alcatraz. Find very interesting. Basically purchased to become a penitentiary in October 1933. October, again, 33. You get your obvious 33 as well. Understand what's taking place. You get a closer look here. You can pause this and read this all you want. Now, again, talking about the supposed drill, and this is the photo of the supposed drill. They somehow managed to sneak in this cell. I mean, again, this is a maximum security prison. Somehow they managed to sneak it in. If you can sneak this drill in into this supposed cell, you can sneak you can sneak in a kitchen sink, you can sneak in a fridge, you can sneak in whatever you want. I don't think so. Now I looked at these images online, going back in time to the all the allowed items into a you know, prison cell in Alcatraz. You can read the read this yourself, all the details. I'm looking at every little detail here. They talk about radio headphones. So someone might assume, oh, that means they had a power outlet in the jail cell, in the prison cell. No. First off, here's an image. You can see here it's close to the very front. And these are not electrical. Just plug in an RCA jack to have your little radio headphones work. There's no electrical outlets that I know of. And even if you did have an outlet conveniently located close to these supposed vents, where they, where they drill the hole through, even if it was perfectly fine for them to drill a hole with security guards all aware of it, how long would it take? And how loud would it be? There's no way. Just another fabricated story. A long list of fabrications. Now, the head honcho of the supposed escape, besides the England brothers, is Frank Morris. And there's a reason Frank Morris head this all up. Let's first off, let's take a look here at the coordinates of Alcatraz Island. It's on the 37th parallel, okay? Frank Morris in numerology. If people don't understand they're all about the numbers, then you're completely deceived and you don't understand how these people operate, okay? You're stuck on a lie system and numbers mean nothing to you, but it means everything to them. Frank Morris is 37 in numerology. It's all about duality, with the location, and the name, Frank Morris. That's not enough. Take a look here. Alcatraz Islands, the current tours they give, takes off from Pier 33. Out of all the piers, all the way to Pier 45, get your 4 and 5 and 9, you take off from Pier 33. This is the longer distance to go all the way to go to Alcatraz. And interesting here, you see Fort Mason. San Francisco, again, the, one of the most occultic cities in the whole United States, and if not the world. The Church of Satan, also located, as I mentioned earlier, in San Francisco. Taking a look at the image of the so-called Trans-American Pyramid in San Francisco. Again, the diamond top illumination through the windows. And again, taking a look at Pier 33, very Masonic looking arch. Of course, it's all about masonry. Now, out of all the piers in San Francisco, out of 1 through 45, the one pier they use during Halloween for carnivals, Pier 33. And you see the Masonic sign of silence. It's your arch as well. Every little concept they devise, all about masonry and the occult. Now, taking a, another look, again, at Alcatraz Island. I've been here myself several times. Pretty creepy, pretty eerie place to be at. Taking a look here at this fire engine. First year of operation. Found it very interesting looking into the details of this fire truck. 
Take a look at what it says here. If you can't see it, I'll show a patch. Okay. This is how far they go. Alcatraz Island, the kind of orangey, yellowish patch. It's called 1934 Diamond T. Diamond. Again, the occult of diamond. It's everywhere. It's really interesting how everything's in plain sight in this world. And so few can see what's taking place. Now, talking about San Francisco, there's an area called Diamond Heights. Just taking a look at the arch itself. Take a look at Safeway, Bank of America, the logos, and everything about our society in the occult. Let's take, first of all, let's take a look here. Okay. You get Diamond Heights, you get 73. It's the opposite of San Francisco, 73. 37, the occult of 21 or 777 with Crowley. Bank of America itself, the actual logo in the occult of 33, hidden in plain sight. You see the red and blue, but again, you get the occult of 33. Two sets of threes, and you get your 33. Now, I found this very interesting when it came to Bank of America in the San Francisco area. Take a look at the locations. Two locations. One's, one in San Francisco and one in Daly City. 33 South Avenue and one in San Francisco. This one is Daly City, just south of San Francisco. And this one, downtown San Francisco, 33 New Montgomery Street. This is how far they go with these occultists. Now taking a look here, a little bit off topic, but it still relates to Bank of America at the Bank of America building in Houston, Texas. And what do you see? The three pyramids, just like Egypt, or three diamonds, whatever you want to call them. Now, getting back to Diamond Heights, the shopping center, of course, owned by a mason. I have no doubt about it. The cult of Safeway in the logo, and what do you see? This is a six and a nine. Just like the yin and the yang, as you see here, right here in London. Okay, showing how Masons own and control this world and how far they go. Take a look at the address of this location. Okay, it's 69 Park Lane, London. 69 Park Lane. So you have that. Now you're going to see the 33. Okay, Park Lane itself. Okay, in London. There you go, Park Lane 33. These occultists. This is how far they go. So I show it with the Safeway logo. There's your S. Just as you see here. Again. Now, taking a look at this movie called The Fan, starring Robert De Niro and Wesley Snipes. Place the old candlestick part. I talked about the occult of candlestick and how the San Francisco Giants move from candlestick to pack bell. I'll play that previous video after this presentation as well, you get Wesley Snipes, and of course his number, his jersey is 33. By the way, Rayburn, the name for Wesley Snipes in the movie, Rayburn is 36 in numerology. You get the occult of 666. Taking a look here at Tom Cruise, see this movie here with the number 33 as well. The orangish, the light orange, and the black and of course, San Francisco Giants, the orange and black as well. Orange being the new black, all about witchcraft. Now, again, getting back to Tom Cruise, as far as rituals with these Masons, Scientology, Tom Cruise, take a look at all of his divorces. Mimi Rogers, they had a breakup at 33. Then Nicole Kidman moved in after 10 years. She was 33. The divorce with Katie Holmes. She was 33 years old as well. There's your three, three thirty threes for six six six. Now, taking a look here at another Hollywood movie, Fast Times at Richmond High. To make a long story short, his brother and Sean Penn, who played the character of Spicoli, basically trashed his car, and they blamed it on the other team. This reminds me of a lot was taking place, just like nine eleven. You blame it on someone else for something you do. And he takes out his aggression on the other football team. The other other high school team. You see the orangish outfit. Take a look at the number of his jersey. Number 33. 
how they have this 33. Their obsession with 33 is unbelievable. Now, taking a look at more occult when it comes to 33 stars and diamonds, which again are one and the same. Taking a look here at the Smashing Pumpkins album, right side up, you got your 33, and once again, there's your star, there are your diamonds, your inverted pyramid, your 33 here with the three diamonds all over the place. I believe this is Rasputin here, an image of him. Take a look at this book called Crave, A Devil and the Diamond Novella. You see the illuminated eye symbol, just like I showed earlier with George Miller holding the glasses. A lot of Masons do, do this now. Now, I covered this before in a previous video with this Atari 2600 game titled Demons to Diamonds. Very occultic things taking place here with this entire concept. First off, let's take a look at the designer, Nick Turner, okay? Turner, just like Ted Turner, 33. Also, more details about Demons to Diamonds with Turner. Previously ported Super Breakout for the 2600. Demons to Diamonds was also released for the Sears video arcade machine as well. Interesting here, it states in the game, players attempt to shoot demons in a cosmic carnival. You get your CC for 33 with cosmic carnival as well. Take a look here for information. Demons to Diamonds. And also, like I stated, with Super Breakout, which he was part of, Turner was a part of as well. Take a look at the color of the box with orange. Take a look at the astronauts. Take a look at the rainbow and the whole entire concept. You see, the astronauts below the firmament, below the rainbow. Okay, this entire concept. Interesting, it says nine video games. I guess nine video games in one. Nine is eight number. Again, the orange box for 33. Now let's take a look at the gameplay itself with Super Breakout. Many people have seen this, I'm sure. If you're my age, I'm sure you have. Take a look. It's all about breaking through the rainbow or breaking through the firmament. This concept, these occultists behind the scenes that devised this. Unbelievable. Besides the box artwork of this game for Super Breakout, they used a lot of orange as well with their logos. There's different color pattern with the logos, but orange is a very popular color. Orange and black specifically with the console itself and the joystick controller with the buttons. Basically the print on the the black console and you have the wood as well. Now again, talking about Super Breakout and the rainbow below the firmament just like I pointed out at the very beginning of the video with the Astro Dome, you have the rainbow below the dome. Same concept. Now, getting on to news stories and so much fakery taking place, all coded with the 33. Just recently, with the supposed Zika breakout, supposedly 33 U.S. military members have contracted Zika. This is when you see a 33 in the news story, you know it's a hoax. This is how they do it. And also, take a little close up, look at the time it was updated at. It just so happened to be 3.30. This is completely ridiculous how they do this and people can't see what's taking place. Going back in time a little bit with Ebola and that hoax, had people petrified with fear over something that was basically manufactured, fabricated, I should say. Supposedly 33 billion doomsday scenario, RT pushing this hoax. Take a look at all supposed American victims, all 33 years old. Give me a break. This is a complete joke, a complete insult. It reminds me of all the acid rain stories in the media back in the 80s. And all of a sudden, acid rain just seemed like it just disappeared out of thin air, just like Ebola. Now, another fabricator news story from CNN with this supposed El Chapo escaping from prison in Mexico. 33 feet tunnel. Give me a break once again. These paid propagandists. Look at this guy. Just look at this guy's face. Nothing but a liar, a fraud, 
in El Chapo itself, the name. The reason they devise the name El Chapo is El Chapo is 33. Okay? Talking about how the world's a stage, Mexico being part of People say, how could this be possible? The U.S. government and Mexican government, the two sovereign governments, are not. how could they be working together on this hoax? They've always been working together. Just look here at Vicente Fox and understand what's taking place here with the Vicente Fox. Supposedly his grandfather or great-grandfather is basically German German descent and it's Fuchs and they changed Fuchs to Fox. He was born Vicente Casada, but the reason they went by Fox or he went by Fox is because Fox is 666 as you can see here in numerology. Okay, That's how they do it now. One of the most famous hoaxes covered it many many times with Robbie Parker okay the, with the bricks in the back the you know, new town by the way Pacific Coast Pacific time I should say it's 322 East Coast 522 but the name Robbie Parker of course with the big smile on his face supposedly after losing his daughter the day previous Robbie just to be 33 Parker 33 and the smiles. Of course, this is just mockery. The devil horns by the daughter who never died. Just a, a little, basically a little crisis actress, if you will, in this hoax. Now, another interesting hoax that took place in, at LAX a few years back, where supposedly a TSA officer bled to death. And they, I guess they had someone with a stopwatch over his bleeding dead body, and they counted down to 33 minutes. Again, give me a break when it comes to this. Take a look here at the 311 band accretion by, of course, the Masons behind the scenes. They look for those that they believe have talent and they create what you see here. You see the double horns, you see the 311 for 33, as you see here, the devil's number. Taking a look here at sports once again with the Indy 500. 33 cars. Three cars wide. And 11 cars deep, 33. Of course, the black and white checkered flag for Freemasonry. Taking a look here at the news. Once again, you get your star, which is a diamond. You get 666. Six, six. And these two sellouts have no souls whatsoever. What people will do to be on TV, they don't care. Getting back to, again, the occult of Fox, like I mentioned, with Vicente Fox. Take a look here at 20th Century Fox. As you see here, it's basically for those that have eyes to see and understand the occult, it's 20th Century 666. Just like Fox News, when you see this, but when you have your eyes open, just like they live, this is what you see. Okay, this is the reality. You get your red and blue in the back as well. Also, the United Nations. So it happens to have 33 segments. And this is the model, of course, of the flat earth as well. Get your 33 segments. And going back to the supposed bombing in Brussels. Nothing but a hoax. 33 pounds of explosives. What a complete joke. And you had the hoax Brussels bombing. And then you had the hoax Boston bombing. With the finish line at 666 Boston Street. Always, again, about the occult. Going back to Europe with Paris, the supposed attack taking place, supposed attack happened in six locations, were hit in 33 minutes. Okay, Just more hoaxes with these news stories, and this one doesn't relate to terrorism, it relates to infidelity with the Ashley Madison website, where supposedly 33 million records you know, were basically hacked. Give me a break again. Now, again, more news stories. Fabricated news stories with the 33 or rituals. Take a look here. The Glenn Danzig and the Misfits reunite. First time in 33 years. Of course, nothing but ritual with these Satanists. Same thing with Ozzy Osbourne and Sharon Osbourne. Complete joke, supposedly splitting up after 33 years. Of course, people behind the scenes all pulling the strings. Ozzy's been a sell his whole entire life. The guy has no soul, no heart whatsoever. Sold the soul of the devil 
a very long time ago. Talking about hoaxes, supposed Minnesota shooting, and you had Diamond. I don't want to talk about this complete liar Diamond. Give me a break. Just taking a look here, talking about gun control with Amy Schumer goes sans pants for safety. Taught looking this up. What do you see here on the side? With eBay, they're at here. Over 33 million shoppers come back for more. You understand with Whitman involved. You talk about her on CNN. She's involved with politics. You know, even though she's no longer there, eBay, all these big companies are part of the world deception. We're talking about deception with space. Space is nothing but a hoax. Deep space, that is. Take a look at the supposed you know, Americans supposed to go on this mission to Mars, a one-way mission. Meet the 33 Americans who could live on Mars. 33, of course. They mentioned 33 three times. You get your 3, 3 times 6. You get your 666. Six, six. Once you figure out deep space is a hoax, then you're going to realize everything involving supposed UFOs and aliens is nothing but a hoax as well. Take a look at the supposed crash at Roswell. Just so happened to be on the 33rd parallel. Out of all the places in the world where this first supposed UFO crashes on the 33rd parallel. Roswell, like all supposed UFO activity, nothing but lies. When people see supposed UFO, they're nothing more than government craft. That's all you see out there. Taking a look at another agent, a deep agent is Bob Lazar. It's all you need to see. Pushing the UFO agenda, trying to keep plant a seed in the minds that UFOs and aliens from other worlds are possible when they're not. Okay? It's part of the theater. Now talking about theater, taking a look at OJ Simpson, and this hoax I covered many times. Supposedly you know, going to prison for thirty three years basically trying to steal back his own possessions. It's a complete joke. Even going back, of course, to the original trial with Nicole Simpson. Supposedly the lawsuit with the Goldman family at $33 million. And, of course, the same thing with O.J. Simpson and Simpson being 33 as well. And, of course, O.J. was an actor. He didn't do too much talking during the trial. Actually, he didn't do any at all. Everybody else involved here, such as Marsha Clark, became an actress in Hollywood. In this this movie or TV movie called Pretty Little Liars. Gil Garcetti, of course, the head DA in L.A., making movies in Hollywood. Okay? There you go. Christopher Darden. He was in Liar, Liar. Made a statement. We're both liars for hire, so it wasn't such a stretch. When he talked about Going from an attorney, a lawyer, to an actor. Even mock. Continuously mock. This is the prosecution. Now let's take a look, for example, at one of the so-called defense attorneys with Dershowitz. There you go, the diamond sign, pyramid sign, whatever you want to call it, one and the same, and the sign of silence. Okay? He's posing for this as mockery. He's not telling anybody to be quiet. He's standing in front of a photographer doing the Masonic sign like they all do. Okay. But the way Clinton, as I say, stated, is 33 as well. Darwin, Charles Darwin, the lie called evolution, Darwin is 33 as well. Now taking a look at some of the props for the O.J. Simpson hoax, they had a white bronco, of course a reference to the white horse in the Bible. Take a look the details of the license plate always with the numbers. You get your 233s. You add up all the numbers. You get 11. You see die. D-H-Y is in die 33. And of course, before the OJ trial, there was the Rodney King trial with the police officer. Supposed beating of Rodney King. Again, nothing but a hoax. You get your March, the third month of the year, you get your 33. 100% stage. Perfectly lit up. You have the cameraman just perfect angle. Of course, will take place after with the fires and all the violence. That was a creation by their fabrication. They started the fire, their fabricated incident, which caused 
the melee. It's called Order Out of Chaos. And during the melee, no police were around because that's exactly what the police chief ordered. They wanted that. Now taking a look at the Trayvon Martin hoax. See him here, not a drop of blood anywhere. Look at his feet position. This is the hangman. Always about the occult. Now I found this very interesting. This congresswoman speaking. She asked for one minute. Right now you see it's 12.29 Pacific Time. But it's actually 3.29 Eastern Time in Congress. Take a look at what happens here. This is nothing more than a ritual with all the 33s once again. Take a look. The gentlelady from Florida rise. Without objection, the gentlelady is recognized for one minute. All she wants is one minute. You see here the clock, 3.29 Eastern Time. It's going to be exactly at 3.30. And take a look what happens here. Look at the board. And there is your 33. Mr. Speaker, I rise. And just take a listen to her. She's smiling throughout the whole entire time. They all know. They're all... All Congress, they're all Masons, and they know the world's a stage. Okay? All about mockery with the 33 once again. It's today. Because I made a promise to Trayvon. I made a promise to his mother. There's your 330. I promised to stand up for Trayvon. I promised that I would rise every day and let the world know how long it has been since he was murdered. Today marks 33 days since Trayvon's death, 33 days without justice. I want to let Trayvon know that I'm going home this evening. I'm going home because votes have finished for the week. That's enough. We need to keep hearing this woman speak. The bottom line, again, 3.30 Eastern. This is no coincidence. More, li more than likely ritualistic, the 233s. Okay, and following along this video, it's obvious to see what's taking place here. Now, fast forwarding to the Mike Brown hoax, that PSYOP was covered extensively on CNN. And you had here George Soros supposedly spent $33 million bankrolling Ferguson demonstrators. Okay, another Mason in the game, high-level Mason. Now, going back in time a little bit as well, to 2007 with Virginia Tech. Supposedly, 33 killed, including the shooter. That's all you need to know. Nothing but a drill taking place here. Cameraman, perfect position for this drill. People standing at the door, like nothing's happening. Because again, nothing but a drill. A live drill passed off as real. Now, they love to pull off these plane crash hoaxes. Take a look here. Supposed Russian plane crashing in Egypt. People said, why would they fake something? Why would they hoax something like this? You don't understand. These people are psychopaths. Complete psychopaths. Take a look at the luggage, okay? You see all this? There's no way luggage would survive. If it did, it would be all scorched, brown, black, burnt. And what do you see here? Here's your luggage, okay? Here's your luggage spread out. Nothing but a hoax in the desert. Okay, all they did was unload this truck with all this luggage for the cameras, and they throw it back in. They haul it all away like garbage. All you need to know about this: just look for the number 33, and it's always there with these hoaxes. Supposedly, bodies of 33 Egyptian plane crash victims identified in Russia. Nothing but a complete joke. Now, moving over to politicians. This young Bill Clinton. With John F. Kennedy. Okay? It's amazing coincidence. This president with this young man. How does this all happen? Because Bill Clinton is in the bloodline. One way or another, he was basically groomed for the position to be president later in this world stage. Taking a look here at Clinton, 33. Taking a look at Kennedy, 33. Okay? Now, JFK, all these debates and how. JFK was killed when in reality, just like the O.J. Simpson trial, O.J. killed no one.
just like nobody killed JFK. It's always in the numbers. Supposedly, JFK was assassinated on November 22nd. You get your 11th month with November 22nd day. You get your 33. Okay, that's just one 33. Besides his name, like I mentioned, Kennedy being 33. Now, second 33. The third, I should say. Dallas, Texas. Okay, 33. So again, you get your 33. 3 and 3 is 6. You get your 3 and 3 is 6. You get your 3 and 3 is 6. You get 666. Six, six. Now, the cult of the location itself on Elm Street. The nightmare on Elm Street. I get into that little bit. The caravan went down this street here, and here's Elm. And here's the, the grassy knoll. Okay, they love the the cult of the elm, the trees, just like Hollywood. It's all about tree worship. Just like when you see here, this trident, just like on 9/11 with the twin towers, same exact thing. Basically, the devil's pitchfork. That's what it's all about. Like I showed before, basically the Atari logo, you flip it over, it's basically like a trident. Very similar to trident. Now, taking a look here, many people know about this two supposed incidents with the Malaysian planes. Let's take a look at the logo first off. Before I get into anything else, look at the three so-called pyramids. It's the tip of the diamonds on the Malaysian airline logo. Now, logo itself, take a look, when you flip it over, you get your 233. That's why they incorporated the Malaysian Airlines with this hoax. Now, supposedly, first Malaysian plane crash over Ukraine. Just an amazing coincidence, I'm sure. Disappeared from radar at 33,000 feet. Just amazing coincidence. For all the coincidence there is out there. Now, getting back to JFK and the Nightmare on Elm Street. You want to keep this in your subconscious mind in Hollywood. There you go. Your Nightmare on Elm Street and Monarch Software, the occult of MK Ultra as well. Now, again, talking about supposed 33,000 33, feet plane missing from radar over. Ukraine, going back to 1972 with this story, another hoax. Hoaxes are nothing new. They've been going out throughout history with this woman supposedly surviving, falling from 33,000 feet and surviving without a parachute. Okay? Just another hoax. Endless hoaxes in this world stage. Now, talking about NASA. Being nothing more than a hoax, nothing but a psyop. Just look at this photo here. Find it interesting. The STS crew. You get your 11 and 3. You get your 3 and 11 for 33. And they're wearing orange, of course. And the so called peace sign, which is nothing more than the Roman numeral 5. You also see, of course, with a NASA logo, nothing but a forked tongue. This is what it's all about. NASA, nothing but lies. Take a look here, as I showed before, with Houston, Texas, and the astronaut ground crew. These get-ups they have, completely embarrassing, completely ridiculous. Over a hoax, something that doesn't exist. These people have never been in space, period. It's a bunch of Masonic liars. Taking a look here, with this supposed shooting with Cassie Stay in Spring, Texas, the suburb of Houston. And a 33-year-old shooter. It's another hoax I covered many, many times. And take a look at the handcuffs. Besides the orange and 33, the handcuffs themselves. And this is a image or photo, I should say, sent by a friend. Take a look. Get your handcuffs and you get your 33. Amazing coincidence. I'm going to play a video after this presentation as well in regards to the police and how it all adds up. 33 in Freemasonry. Now, again, talking about astronauts. Not astronauts, they're astronauts. Take a look here at Kennedy Space Center. Okay? Kennedy, 33. You got a single runway. And just take a look at the number. 
where the supposed space shuttles land. Nothing more than airplanes, as I covered many, many times. You get your runway 33. Unbelievable how they love to mock. Now, talking about the mockery with space, take a look here with supposed passing of Edgar Mitchell during this, along with this news article, I should say, we talk about how Shepard Stuart Rosa in a th in the, for the third lunar landing, they talk about the three men, how they spent a record of 33 hours on the moon's surface. Complete garbage they give us. Nothing but lies. People can't wrap their brain, their mind around this. It's too much to absorb for the human mind. Okay? We're getting back on Clinton, Bill Clinton, who changed his name from Bill Blythe to Bill Clinton because, get into a little bit here, because Clinton is 33 in numerology, but he's supposedly born in Hope, Arkansas. I'll have it on good authority from a very reliable source that actually Bill Clinton was born in Hot Springs, Arkansas on the 34th parallel, but they want to say he was born in Hope to get the 33. He also mentions in his book how he was born again in Hope, Arkansas, 33 miles east of the Texas border at Texarkana. Okay. They are obsessed with the devil's number of 33. Okay, now talking about Clinton, take a look at Hillary Clinton. Okay. Supposedly Hillary Clinton on how 33,000 emails got deleted. People talk about Benghazi and there's distraction taken away from Benghazi like it's a real event. You people don't understand Benghazi was a hoax as well. Okay? Nothing but a hoax. The world's a stage. Okay? It's part of the script. I'm taking a look here. Now, this is... You know, people really die, of course. <laughs> people really die, but they only cover their fake news stories when it comes to the news. Here's Hillary Clinton talking about how 33,000 Americans are killed by guns each year. Okay? Of course, people really get killed, but you know it's not 33,000. They're just rounding off that number just again as mockery. Now, her opponent, Donald Trump, take a look, from the Daily Beast, as in the Antichrist, talk about 33% of the time. Just any way to get that 33% in the devil's number. Now, people keep telling me how Hitler was some type of hero. Just take a look here at this image side by side with Donald Trump. Okay? What's the difference? There is no difference. See the how the fingers are separated? This Masonic hand sign? Now look at this. The diamond sign or the pyramid. Okay? Just like Hitler. No difference. One and the same. Now take a look at this Masonic book. By Clausen Commentaries. You get your CC for 33 on morals and dogma the orange book now take a look at Hitler's book Mein Kampf and these other German books these Nazi books all orange you see what's taking place here it's pretty obvious with those that have eyes to see take a look at Angela Merkel it's like Hitler here with the diamond sign and Trump doing the diamond sign with their hands okay complete joke look at this hideous beast Give me a break. Now, again, very interesting with World War II and Adolf Hitler with the embargo with, with Coke. What do you have here? They, the, the Nazi Germans, they had their own division of Coke and they created Fanta Orange. They're all about orange with Freemasonry. Do you believe Hitler was a hero? Give me a break. You're completely deceived. Completely manipulated by fake truth speakers that give you only half truths. They're talking about Freemasonry and duality. Let's take a look at this, this photo of Donald Trump from private clubs. And again, they love that mirror image. Okay? Just like the Queen of England. Duality image going on. Take a look again. What do you see here? Nothing more than, again, the diamond or the pyramid. 
right on top of her head. You can look at this again, Walt Disney, all about duality with the mirror image, also here as well. They love this duality. And again, these people are very creepy. I mean, look at this. I mean, what's the deal? It reminds me of this movie from back in the 80s called The Never Ending Story. These multiple faces. You got the black and white, the duality with the two faces. Like this hideous, these hideous creatures. Of course, people behind these movies are masons. Like I stated, you have Wolfgang, Wolfgang Peterson in duality with a snail. It's called a racing snail. Get more about the occult with these movies, these occultists behind them. This is the trademark, again, with Freemasons. A racing snail. Snails are, snow, are slow, of course. It's a racing snail, all about duality. Take a look at this character called Carry On. It's part of, again, the never-ending story. How do they devise this name, Carry On? Because, again, it's 33. I'm talking about duality, let's take a look here at Star Wars. You have an igloo in the desert. You have the dual suns, all about duality. You have you live in a primitive type of you know, conditions. What do you have here? You have technology. You have this land speeder that can hover, but they still live again in these primitive type structures, such as this igloo. You live in this hovel, Ben Kenobi's hovel, just like a cave. But they have technology of a lightsaber. Very, very fascinating, very interesting, the whole concept of duality. But again, these Masons are up to no good. The ones at the top, I'm not saying, I need to make this perfectly clear, I'm not saying if someone's a Freemason, that means they're evil. But I'm talking about the ones at the top, they're the ones that are evil. But the standard Masons, just like a church, just because you're a Catholic and you go to church, it doesn't mean you're evil like those in the Vatican. There's a big difference from lower level to higher level. The lower level Masons, they are basically the shield for the higher level. The lower level Masons don't know what higher level Masons do. They are deceived as well. Talking about duality once again. Take a look at He-Man. Again, you have the duality. I find it very interesting here. Again, the 2D pyramid on the chest of He-Man. Again, you have, you know, flying vehicles. You have these characters with laser guns, but still in the, the medieval with the castle in the back. Castle Grayskull. You have Prince Adam, and you have He-Man. Duality, the wimpy Prince Adam, and the tough He-Man with Orko. Let's remind you of the complete concept with Clark Kent and Superman. The nerdy, goofy Clark Kent who transforms into Superman. By the way, Clark Kent, you get your C, your K for 311. Just like Calvin Klein, CK, same thing. Now, talking about mockery, let's take a look here at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay? Here you go. The belt buckle, skull, and bones. Same thing. And his father was involved with the police force in Austria. He applied to be part of the Nazi regime. Now, talking about how they love to mock how Arnold had a movie, basically a documentary movie, called Pumping Iron. Take a look here. He's training this guy. He's showing him how to pose. And he's doing the Nazi salute. Look at this guy here. He knows exactly what's going on. This is Arnold's buddy. Take a look. He's making him do the Nazi salute. And this guy's laughing. This guy's clueless. Complete insult. This is how they love to mock this pose. Instructs him to turn his head. Here he goes again, the Nazi, the Nazi salute. Shouldn't be laughing, but it's just too much. Too much. Even Arnold doing the Nazi salute here. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's too much. This world full of these so-called elite with Arnold, of course, Went from bodybuilder to actor to governor. Actor, governor, one of the same. Just like Ronald Reagan went from actor to governor to president. 
Just like Clint Eastwood went from actor to mayor of Carmel. Talking about actors, take a look here at Jesse Ventura. Amazing. Went from professional wrestler to actor to governor of Minnesota. Using his wrestling name, Jesse Ventura. He was born James Janos. But again, he became governor using his wrestling name. Why not? The world's a stage. This is Arnold, of course. This is 1987 Predator. Now you fast forward. Two former governors side by side. Two Masons, no doubt. Two deceivers. Don't believe Jesse Ventura is a true speaker by any means. Now, one thing I find very curious, very interesting, is this character of Bill Gates. And this one kind of blows my mind how many 33s there are involved with Bill Gates. Bill, great, Bill Gates, great. Bill Gates talks about how Ebola can kill 33 million in less than a year. Now, take a look at this. Bill Gates retires after 33 years. Okay? Now, again, I talked about how the global pandemic, Bill Gates, 33 million, wipe out. Look at his yacht. Supposedly, his $330 million yacht, sure, he it was, it was a little bit less or a little bit more. But this number, again, fabricated to get this, to get that number 33. Take a look. Microsoft, the logo itself, you have the hidden 33. These people are obsessed with this devil's number of 33. I showed the Malaysian hidden little pyramids or little diamonds. And here's the same thing. Microsoft logo, the duality black and white, and you have the little so-called pyramid, which is actually a diamond. And the name, Bill Gates, just so happens to be 33. Very bizarre. Now, this one, really interesting, I find, his first supposed computer was a teletype model 33 during high school. Unbelievable. Now, another Mason in the game. First Apple computer, $666.66 with Steve Jobs. And he talks about looking in the mirror. Of course, all about masonry for the past 33 years. This is how they love to mock. And people don't understand, don't get it. David Letterman retired after 33 years. Just take a look at what's taking place here. David Letterman's last show. Take a look. Talks about 33 years. After he says 33 years, take a look at what he does here. He only does it once during the entire show. Puts his hand in his sleeve. Okay? There's his little devil horns there, as you just saw. It's more little mockery. It's very subtle. Take a look again. I'm going to try to get in the right spot. I can right. Take a look once again. As he pulls his hand out, like a little devil horn type movement. Very subtle, but again, it's all about masonry with the hidden hand. Now, taking a look here. As I've shown it many, many times with Bart Simpson, the 9-11, the 9 and the 11 from back in 1997. Simpson, like I mentioned, with O.J. Simpson, 33. Okay, take a look here at Mockery. These people... Or Satanist with Homer Simpson lying the Bible on fire. Okay, they go out of their way. People don't believe there's a God, there's a devil. People are deceived. Don't understand what's taking place here. Now, 9-11, like I mentioned earlier in this presentation, how the towers came down after 33 years by a supposed pilot, Muhammad Atta, who just so happened to be 33 years old as well. Okay. No planes hit the towers. Okay. It's all about Revelation 9-11. Only verse in the Bible where the Antichrist is named. Talking about the angel from the bottomless pit. Apollyon, which is Apollo 1 and the same. Now, taking a look here 
when it comes to these fabricated stories, they're coded with 911 in not so obvious fashion. You get the 9 and 2. Get your 9, then add the 9 to the 2, you get your 911 with the alligator hoax. Okay? 9.20 p.m. Then you have this recent story with Corinth Gaines. Supposedly at 9.20 again, you get your 911. Okay? Let's take a look here as well. With Sandy Hook. Supposedly going to reopen on August 29th. You get your 911 as well. They love these. 33s, 9-11. They love their 7-7 seven, seven as well. And another 33 hoax with Timothy McVeigh with Oklahoma City bombing. They did blow up a bombing, just a controlled demolition explosion type of firework they used basically on that government building, but nobody died. And he didn't die either. Take a look here, H-33. Okay, that's all you need to know. It's a hoax. Devil's deception. Don't think so. You feel, oh, not everything could be a lie. Then this must be true. Take a look at these crisis actors. This guy is really a, a victim of a bombing. Complete joke. Look at this guy here. Throwing some fake blood. That's all you need. People standing around with sunglasses. Nothing but a drill taking place. This guy, this guy has a towel on his shoulder. I'm not going to wipe my face. I need all this fake blood for the photos. Go again. It's crisis actors. People involved in the government. Some CIA or FBI agent partaking in this live drill. There you go. The same. One of the same. You might ask, if this is all true. Wouldn't the news tell us? Wouldn't they tell us the truth? Why do I have to go to your channel for the truth? They're all controlled. TV is controlled by these six companies. Time Warner control it all. CNN, they control also headline news, TMZ, the game is rigged. TV is 100% control. You're not going to have a real legit truth speaker on TV whatsoever. Besides Time Warner's logo, where I show that, of course you have the all-seeing eye with CBS. Taking a look at Time Warner. The swirl, this is the Eye of Lucifer, the Antichrist, whatever you call it, the one-eyed Antichrist. Uh, to conclude this video, before I play my previous videos that all connect to this, take a look at this quote by Henry Kissinger, where he states, It's not a matter of what is true that counts, but a matter of what is perceived to be true. And that's what TV's job is. It's all about controlling the minds. And just like Jim Morrison stated as well, whoever controls the media controls the mind. Another interesting quote, I show this many times with Richard Nixon, no hero, but speaking the truth here, the American people don't believe anything until they see it on television. But everything I showed in this presentation, those that don't believe in the Bible, don't believe in God, states here in Revelation, well, the devil, Satan was cast down, and deceive the whole world. After watch this presentation, all the deception that's taken place, you don't believe, you have to wonder what is taking place here. Are these people, these psychopaths, doing all these hoaxes for no reason whatsoever? I don't think so. It's all about bringing in the New World Order with the Antichrist, which I believe is going to take place pretty soon. I've mentioned many times, I believe it's going to be Obama, I don't own a crystal ball. I can't say that for a fact. He could be a clever decoy. It could be somebody else. But again, everything that's happening in the world today with all these hoaxes and psyops, again, they're not doing it for no reason. It's all leading up to something. And to me, it's the new world order led by the Antichrist. The connection with Alex Jones, nothing more than a made-up character, and Glenn Beck. Let's take a look at this interesting connection. Alex Jones, again, this made-up character. Why do they give him the name Alex Jones? You just so happen to get a 33. Now, Glenn Beck, it's Time Magazine cover. And how people can't see, this is just an actor. You have the occult with Mad Men. I mean, everything, like I said, is devised for a reason. They don't just come up with these concepts for this title of Time Magazine 
with madmen for no reason at all. Turn it sideways and you get the MM for 33. Just like Marty McFly, Mad Max, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Marilyn Manson, Marilyn Monroe, Michael Myers, the list goes on and on and on. All these fictitious names in Hollywood are basically made up to get that 33 with the MM. And now the connection again with Alex Jones. Take a look at this. Chaldean numerology. Glenn Beck just so happens to be 33 as well. So we have these two so-called true speakers from InfoWars, which is Time Warner, and one with Fox News, the liberal station, CNN, and the conservative station with Fox News, and you get the 233. So what does this all mean? When it all comes down to it. Everything is synchronized to get that number 33 with Freemasonry. I find it pretty amazing what's taking place. People, you know, they'll watch these, these two speak for years and years, and they'll fall for the deception, fall for the, the half-truths at best, and not understand what's taking place here in this deception. Taking a look at this Masonic police pin, the name police itself and the G. Is both equal 33. People need to understand they don't devise these names out of thin air. It's always a reason for everything. Let's take a look here. See police, it's 33 in numerology. Also, with the G, a very clever way how they devise the G. It comes to 33. A through Z, 26. Skip over and you get the G for 33. So understand who controls the police department. These were established by the Freemasons. It's owned and controlled by the Masons. It's very easy to see when you have eyes to see, and you see the gloves, the Masonic gloves, you see the checkerboard just like the Masonic Lodge. It's very easy once you put all the pieces together to see what's taking place. Now, make it the connection from these so-called leaders such as George Bush here, again to the police departments, now to the actors involved in the world stage, such as Robbie Parker and Emily Parker, his supposed daughter, the name Robbie Parker. Robbie is 33, so is Parker. Parker is 33. So you see everybody involved in this matrix, and you'll see that 33. Just like I've shown here before as well. Okay, Robbie and Parker, both 33. Just like the Ebola hoax, all these supposed American victims. 33 years old. Now, if you think this is a coincidence, then you are absolutely not interested in the truth. You're just interested in preserving the lie system that you've been born into and not interested in seeking truth. And this is why they're called the enlightened ones. They're the ones with all the knowledge. Everybody below is kept ignorant. Even those in the school system, they are simply paid to teach out of the textbooks. They cannot deviate. If they deviate, they're basically out of a job. So understand you know, generation after generation after generation have been brainwashed to the entire exact same system of lies and deception. And they don't even know it. They, again, they're just teaching what they're told to teach. Now, taking a look here, when it comes to the media, just one last connection. Like I showed before with CNN. Look at this logo. Everything they do, there is a reason. So I showed here. Turn this logo sideways and you get the 233s. And if you think that's just a coincidence, as I showed before, CNN is located on the 33rd parallel. So with this video, you can see the chain of command that takes place with all the hoaxes, all the psyops. And again, most people are in denial. They don't want to believe this is true. But this is undeniable. Who's behind it all? Once people are down a path of lies, it's very hard to turn around, especially when you spend tens of thousands of dollars on your education and everything you've been told is nothing but a lie. The truth pill is a very hard one to swallow. Again, very few want to admit they've been lied to their entire lives. It's a sad truth. Again, ego and pride and what they believe is truth is preventing them from seeing what's taking place in the absolute truth. After uploading my last video on Ukrainian singer Vlata Ognevich, looking at all the symbolism with the flat earth and the diamonds in the sky. I decided to take a closer look. 
Let's take a look at this video by Rihanna. Let's just take a listen to the lyrics. Okay, shining bright like a diamond in the sky. And again, you see the symbolism here. Let's play this song. This version is first, of course, played by the Beatles with John Lennon. With Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Let me play this short clip with Miley Cyrus. This song has been covered many, many times by... Elton John, Bono, many, many others. This song, people love the songs, but they don't understand the concept. There's always a backstory to these songs. You know, the people behind the scenes, these people do not create the lyrics for these songs. Going back in time with John Lennon and all the others, they're given, the songs are given to them by people behind the scenes. And this is a form of mockery taking place here. When the Bible states in Job, basically the sky, the firmament, it's made out of Molten looking glass, strong, and as molten looking glass. And again, with the stars, as I shown before here, this is all biblical here. Everything is within the ferment, with all the stars within the ferment. Nothing comes from outside. Basically, all so called asteroids and meteors, all they are just falling stars. That's it. Okay? So don't talk about asteroids, meteors coming from outer space when there's no deep space. Everything is within the firmament. states here in the Bible three times how stars fall to the earth. And this is how you get your diamonds in the sky. This is what they're talking about. Again, mockery with all these songs. Diamonds basically come from stars. That's what it all comes down to. Now, as i shown before, I find this interesting. Diamond is 33 in numerology. So is flat earth. Now, Take a look here, going back to the song with Miley Cyrus. Like I said, so many others have sung it originally by the Beatles, John Lennon. They talk about Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Okay, I find it interesting here with this Bible verse from Ephesians 2 2. Ye walked according to the course of this world. That means you go according to the world, don't go against it, according to the prince of power of the air. Okay, so Lucy in the sky with diamonds, the prince of power in the air represents Satan himself, who's in the air, and you cannot see him. Okay, so when you take a look, at this Masonic symbol, the double-headed eagle and the crown, and no one's wearing the crown, the prince of power in the air, is unseeable force of this world. And this, of course, is the sky in 33. Okay, there you go. Now, another symbol... Just might be a little bit off topic, but it's very relevant. How they have duality with Freemasonry. There's you know, many different hidden meanings, different symbols. Taking a look at this Billy Idol concert from San Francisco. What do you see in the back? You see a lightning bolt with a crown on top, which is very reminiscent of this. Why do they do this? Why do they devise this? It's because like it states in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, where Jesus stated, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So there you go. This is the reason for this concept. They're putting a crown on Satan's head. Again, with this Bible verse, the prince of power of the air, referring to Satan, the unseen, you know, God of this world, like it states in Corinthians 4.4, 4, how Satan is the God of this world. And just for reference, again from 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, that Satan is the God of this world. That's what it's all about. Devil's Playground with one of Billy Idol's latest albums, or I should say more recent albums over the years. I always talk about Freemasonry, the world of duality, where you're going to hear it lies in the news, truth in music and movies. Take a listen to this song just released last year by the band called The Mountain Ghost. It's called Choked Out. Just a quick reference to the name of the band, The Mountain Goats. All it refers to Baphomet, of course, the Masonic Go God. Take a listen to the lyrics. Find it very interesting. The 
There you go. Diamonds in the firmament. All reserve, all reserves completely spent. Someone sent up the oxygen tent. The tent as the firmament. They just like the title of the song, choked out. Like you're being suffocated within the firmament. Of course, like I said so many times, the lyrics for these songs are given to them by people behind the scenes. Just take a look at the album cover itself. Just like I mentioned earlier, there is the satanic lightning bolt. You see all the occult in plain sight. You know there's people behind the scenes pulling the strings for this type of music. Now let's take a look at some other connections here as well. I found this interesting with this website called the Museum of Jewelry. They have a 14K firmament sapphire and diamond earring set. The price of $306.60. Again, I talked about diamond being 33. Let's take a look at sapphire. There you go as well, 33. So you get a 33 with sapphire and diamond. These people behind the scenes, these are all masons, these rich and powerful people. If you think this is just a coincidence using firmament when it comes to diamond, let's take a look here as well. And you'll see this other company, Better Ridge here, State Wellendorf, you have the firmament as well, referring to the diamonds. Gold bracelet with diamond. Okay, again, if you think this is just a coincidence, let's take a look at another company, another jewelry company here. And this is called the 18K Firmament. There you go. I mean, it goes on and on. Now, here is something else found on this one government website. Let me move it up a bit so you can see the URL. And this is for the University of Manchester. Jewel and Murky Firmament. The Diamond Jubilee History of Occupational Health at the University of Manchester. So what is this all about? Jewel in a murky firmament. Now, other interesting connections here as well. Go to geology.com. They talk about how diamonds are formed. Here you go. Talk about asteroid impact, how meteors fall, meteorites. And again, this is all within the firmament. Basically... So-called meteorites are nothing more than fallen stars. Same thing with asteroids. These are nothing more than fallen stars. We're always given false definitions to everything. And I found this on NASA's website. It's a complete lie. It says, a falling star or a shooting star has nothing to do with a star. And this is absolutely incorrect. Of course, going to give you false meanings. Again, all about duality. It's called a falling star or a shooting star because they are literal falling stars like the Bible mentions like I stated or as I showed earlier. We also take a look here at this website called the Diamond Price Guru. They talk about again how diamonds are formed. Here you go again with outer space. Okay? Talk about meteorites impact can create diamonds. Meteorites, meteors colliding with other objects in space create diamonds. Okay? They even tell you right in front of you, right in front of your face, and people still don't get it. They also they make a reference to the song called Lucy in the, in the Sky with Diamonds. Okay, there you go. And again, this is how those behind the scenes love to mock. They tell you the truth in plain sight with things that seem absolutely ridiculous, such as a music song. And again, this is the world of duality. It states, again, diamonds in the firmament, again, stars as well. The truth is out there, but it's not going to be in the textbooks or on TV. you got to find it for yourself. It's going to be in places that you least expect. Again, such as movies, TV shows. Again, this song here, Choked Out, The Mountain Goats. Very telling. You and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. Diamonds. You are beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond.
With this video demonstration, I'm going to cover many topics, specifically with the occult of Fourth of July and the bell symbolism. First off, let's take a look at some of these images here. See Liberty Bell Brand Fireworks. Taking a look back at this old image of Red Devil Fireworks, you get the red and blue, which is purple. This is all about royalty. Getting back to the bell itself, the Liberty Bell, as I stated many times, this world is owned and controlled by Freemasons. And Freemasonry is nothing more than Satanism in disguise. Let's take a look here. I find this very interesting with the Satanic Ritual by the founder of the Satanic Church, Anton LaVey. Let's take a look here. As the organist continues the hymn to Satan, LaVey picks up a large brass bell, waves it up over the altar to sanctify it, and slowly revolves counterclockwise. Remember, Satanists work on opposites before his followers. He rings the bell nine times, and this is key. And this is Satan's number. To clear the air, then returns the bell to its plate on the mantle. And like I stated again many times, with the Satanist Freemasons owning and controlling every aspect of our society, take a listen to this song called Love Potion Number 9. And again, a reference to Satan's number, Number 9. She looked at my palm and she made another sign She said what she needs, love potion number nine Very interesting lyrics. She looked at my palm and she made a magic sign. She said what you need is a bottle of love potion number nine. And again, that is Satan's number. And also, like I said many times in the past, all these lyrics for these songs by these mainstream artists, going back in time to today, they're all given by those behind the scenes that are pulling the strings. They don't devise these songs out of nowhere. Out of all the numbers, it just so happens to be number nine again, Satan's number. Now again, talking about the bell itself, getting back to the bell symbolism, let's take a look here at this website called The Joy of Satan, where they talk about satanic rituals, which I find pretty interesting here. Let's take a look. They talk about... First of all, let me go here, talk about ringing the bell, just like Anton LaVey during that ceremony, during that ritual. And again here, the bell using a satanic ritual is symbolic. So, you understand what's taking place here with the bell symbolism. There's a reason for everything in this world that's taking place. And people don't understand this concept. First, they mock or they'll laugh because they have no understanding. They mock what they don't understand. That's what it all comes down to. Just taking a look at the satanic pentagram and you see all the bells. Just like this one satanic group, Demon Bell, with this song. Now, people need to understand it as well when it comes to the so-called religions. You see here, Notre Dame, you see the nine bells. So you see the connection with the churches. These so-called you know, men of God, they're nothing but a group of deceivers at the very top. I'm not saying these people you know, know what's taking place. They're pretty much all deceived, not realizing that Satan is the god of this world as stated in the Bible in Corinthians 4.4. 4. Now, again, this is Notre Dame in Paris. Let's take a look at the very top. They have gargoyles all over the very top of this cathedral. And you see the Eiffel Tower. Nothing but a phallus symbol. Now, the connection with Freemasonry Again, nothing more than Satanism in disguise. Take a look here. You see the Brotherhood of the Bell. Okay, you see this ritual taking place with this bell. This, this Freemasonic bell right here going back in time. Another Masonic bell. Now, the connection I've always made in previous videos with Adolf Hitler in Nazi Germany. And they were part of the world stage, and people don't grasp this. They believe these fake truth speakers... They give them false information. They give them a lot of truth and mix in lies. Take a look here. The SS Brotherhood of the Bell. So understand, again, Freemasonry, Brotherhood of the Bell. You see here with Nazi Germany as well. Now, take a look here at London, England. You see the bell. Of course, the first Masonic Lodge was constructed in London, England. Now, getting back to Philadelphia, City of Brotherly Love and the Bell. See this? I don't really want to get on subject with this. This is just an image of two men 
and the bell. Okay? Now, the occult of the bell, those behind, again, behind the scenes, pulling the strings, take a look here at Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell in the all-seeing eye of Lucifer. What do you see here? The Saturn symbolism as well. This, this almost looked like, I would say, a devil's tail. You see the very end of a devil's tail. So always about the occult. Science and symbols rule this world. And understand when you have an occultic name, such as Bell, you're going to be propped up in this world if you are a Mason. Just like I pointed out in previous videos, like Alex Jones and Glenn Beck, which is 33 in numerology. Now, more interesting connections here comes to this movie, Bell, Book, and Candle. And the connection with Bell and Candle specifically, very interesting connections I found. Take a look here. First off, before I, I move on, I want to mention, I find it interesting with the release date of December 25th, supposedly Christ's birthday, when in actuality it's Nimrod's birthday. Christ was more than likely born in the, at the end of September or the beginning of October. Understand, as it states in the Bible, Jesus Christ was born six months after John the Baptist. So December 25th, again, is not Christ's birthday. It's Nimrod's birthday. Now, taking a look here, the star of this movie, Kim Novak. And what do you see here? Again, the connection with the bell and candle, all about witchcraft and the occult. See the bell, see the book, but the candlestick. This is a very interesting connection I'm going to make here. I find it interesting, interesting as well, the orange type color as well. Take a look here first off at this West Coast phone company. It's called Pacific Bell. Now, taking a look here in San Francisco, I'm going to make a lot of connections with San Francisco and the occult in this video. Take a look at this stadium that opened up in the year 2000 for the San Francisco Giants. And the Giants is about the occult. It states in the Bible in Genesis 6-4, there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them the same became the mighty men which were of old men of renown now understand what's taking place here these were the fallen angels that made it with female humans they created these giants as mentioned here in Genesis to understand the occult of the San Francisco Giants and again the bell symbolism now, taking a look here, again, the connection with the bell and the candlestick. So you have Pacific Bell Park. Now, understand, before the San Francisco Giants played at Pacific Bell Park, they played at Candlestick Park. So you have the, the occult of bell and candlestick. So you see what's taking place here with witchcraft and Satanism with the bell and the candlestick. So the connection should be able to be made with those behind the scenes pulling the strings. These are Satanists. It's not by random, not by chance. If you think it is, just take a look at this. In the early 2000s, there was a XFL league started by WWE owner Vince McMahon. And he had a San Francisco team called the Demons. Okay? Now, I find this very interesting. The San Francisco Demons welcome you to Pack Bell Park. So the connection with the demons and the bell. Again, Pack Bell Park. Wow. Unbelievable what's taking place in this world. People sitting in the stands have no clue about the occult. They have no clue what's taking place. Taking a look here at these helmets of the San Francisco demons and these jerseys as well. Again, this world is owned and controlled by these Satanists. And you even see the pitchforks on, the, on these pants for these football players. And in this world that the Satanists own, there's a reason for everything. With the three three prongs on each of these, these pitchforks, it's three and three. This is about the occult of 33. Just like with the Twin Towers and 9-11, it's nothing more than a trident. Basically, what you see here as well, with this monument for 9-11, with these two tridents. Understand what's taking place here. Turn these two tridents sideways, and you'll get the 33. Again, just like the pitchforks, there is no difference. As I mentioned before many times, the reason for 33, the highest degree in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, and also understand the towers came down after 33 years. The construction started in 1968, 
towers came down in 2001, exactly 33 years. So understand, those that run this world, control this world from behind the scenes, are behind everything that's taken place throughout history, taking place as well today, of course. Getting back to Candlestick Park, again, with the San Francisco Giants. Understand the colors with, with the orange and black. They're always about the colors, numbers, signs, and symbols. You see the orange baseball, again, the Colt of 33 with orange. You see orange is the new black as well. These are, of course, known as Halloween colors, satanic colors as well, with the Giants, as mentioned in the Bible. Basically, again, a mixture of the fallen angels and female humans created the Giants. Just like the New York Giants as well. There is a reason behind everything they do with the red and blue with the New York Giants. People behind the scenes control it all, every aspect of our society. Just take a look at the queen and the nurse. See the Masonic belt buckle on the nurse. Square and the compass and the pentagram. Okay, see, people understand it's taking place. Everything's in plain sight. You just need to be able to connect all the pieces of the puzzle together. Now, interesting enough, with the San Francisco 49ers, the concept of this team with the 49ers, 4 and 9, 4 times 9 is 36. So you get the occult of 666. Of course, about the gold rush, just like the Golden Gate Bridge, as I showed many times in previous videos, with the international orange. And orange, again, is 33 in numerology. And it just so happens the Golden Gate Bridge construction started in 1933. Now, let's take a look here. The Bohemian Club in San Francisco on Taylor Street. You see the brick building all about masonry. Just take a look at this plaque in the connection with the Golden Gate Bridge. Of course, 1933 on the plaque itself. And it states here, weaving spiders come out here. This is all about no business dealings within the Bohemian Club. This is what it's all about. Now, with, as far as when it comes to 4th of July and fireworks, I'll... I'll conclude the fireworks portion at the end of this video, but I'll just show this little sneak peek right here. This one firework brand called Bright Star, of course a reference to Lucifer being the shining star. Satanic Desecration, 1933 Satanic Desecration Barrage. So you understand, people behind the scenes, they control it all, even the fireworks. Of course, fire represents hell. And more with San Francisco in the occult. Let's take a look first off with this Masonic Lodge located on 1111 California Street. You need to understand this is not by random that they have this 1111 address. These are, again, those that run this world from behind the scenes. So they get to select this address to have their occultic numbers. And I find it very interesting as well. Satanic Church was founded in San Francisco, California, of course, by Anton LaVey. It happens to be on the same street on California Street as well. An image of Anton LaVey right here. The current high priest of the Satanic Church, Peter Gilmore. What do you see above? I've talked about this many times in the past. The Satanic Spiral, the Satanic Swirl, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Now, one thing I find interesting is with the Beatles, the occult of the Beatles. You see the 666 hand sign and the devil horns. Now, the last concert they ever played was in San Francisco, California in 1966. You see, again, the occult of orange as well. So, it's basically a ritual with Candlestick Park. Again, all about witchcraft. The bell symbolism and the candlestick. Now, let's take a look here. Like I stated many, many times, they control every aspect of our society. The music industry as well. When it comes to Bell Biv DeVoe, you see the San Francisco uniform by one of these band members here. And again, the occult of the spiral swirl, just like I just showed with Anton LaVey and Peter Gilmore in the Satanic Church. It's all about the occult. Everything they do, there is a reason. Just like the name Bell Biv DeVoe, numerology just so happens to be 49. Again, just like the San Francisco 49ers. You get the 4 and the 9. You get your 36. This is the occult of 666. Understand what's taking place here. And more interesting connections when it comes to Freemasonry and Satanism. Let's take a look here at J.M. Barry. who's of course behind Peter Pan 
and Tinker Bell. Let's take a look at his details here. Born in Scotland, supposedly died at the age of 77. I'm not saying this is fabricated, just by chance. Chaldean numerology, 7-7 seven, seven is Oz, with the occult of Oz, as I mentioned before in a previous video. Now, again, with him being behind Tinker Bell, you see this, uh, the star, the pentagram in Hollywood. I find this interesting. With this 2008 release of Tinker Bell, it's released on September 11th. So it's all about the occult of 9-11 in Tinker Bell. Now, more occult with the bell. Let's take a look here at Robin Gibb. Of course, Saved by the Bell. Another reference to the bell. Now, I find this very interesting. With this TV show titled Saved by the Bell. And taking a look again at those spiral swirls. See three of them. This is basically a six, six, and a six. Also, take a look at this hand sign. Take a look here. You've got the 666 hand sign with this cast photo shoot. I find this interesting as well. You see the 666 hand sign right here with Bayside. And you see the Masonic checkerboard. Understand, he's not going out of his way to do this on his own. He's told to do this. And I'm sure he has no idea what the meaning. Does that mean A, everything's A-OK? -okay. That's what the masters are told. This is the 666 hand sign. Now let's take a look here. I find this extremely interesting. Taking a look from Aleister Crowley. Satanists learn to do things backwards. This is the world of opposites. Learn to write backwards, walk backwards. Let him listen to phonographic records reversed. Let him practice speaking backwards. Read backwards. They say the Lord's Prayer backwards in the Satanic Church as well. So when you look at this scene here, very opening scene from Say by the Bell. I got a portion of this clip and make no mistake about what's taking place here. Again, with these occultists, these Satanists behind the scenes. Take a listen. So you see what's taking place with this back masking. It's never going to be absolutely perfect, but you could definitely hear, man, I miss my Satan. We're all saved. Hear that in the back masking once again. Understand, again, what's taking place now. Let's take a look here again, getting back to the belt symbolism. Take a look at this cathedral, the three bells. Let's remind you of into everyday society, taking a look back at Taco Bell and their older buildings, and you see the belt symbolism. You know, people know about McDonald's and the M for 13. A lot of hidden symbolisms with so many companies. I stated before, the Apple computer, the first Apple being $666. These are not by coincidence. Everything that we see in society from, as stupid as it might sound, from fast food, to computers, to technology such as iPhone, which represents the eye, as in the all-seeing eye. There's a reason for everything in this world. This society, again, run by the Satanic Freemasons. Let's take a little bit of a closer look here. Again, you see that bell symbolism. Now, this is an older Taco Bell going back to probably the 60s or 70s, I believe. More like the 70s. Let's take a look here at a newer Taco Bell. And you'll see the concept with the bell symbolism. It almost looks like an eye over the bell. Just like the all-seeing eye of Ra or Lucifer. Now, again, people know about this. You take a closer look and you see the eye within the bell. It looks like an evil eye, like a serpent. And you see the six on in the inside of the bell as well. Let's take a look here at Taco Bell once again. Taco Bell's official Wikipedia page, and you'll see the founder is named Glenn Bell. Again, people with these occultic names, just like Art Bell, are propped up in this world. Now, one thing I found extremely interesting is where the founding of Taco Bell was in this city called Downey, California. It just so happens to be on the 33rd parallel. Give me a break. Let's take a look at the name Glenn Bell itself, and you'll understand 
this Masonic Matrix with the number 33. You think this is just a coincidence? You are definitely a coincidence, Theris, with the number 33 with Glenn Bell. Unbelievable what's taking place in this world. And people are still in denial. They don't want to believe this is possible. Well, sad reality, this is exactly what's taking place. Now let's take a look here at former U.S. President Ronald Reagan. People need to understand none of these so-called presidents were ever heroes. They're all Satanists, all occultists, and this includes Reagan. One thing I want to point out first before I move along with Ronald Reagan, when you see people like this, Bill Clinton and Kennedy, understand Kennedy was no hero, okay? People believe he was some type of truth speaker. I mentioned it many times. He would have never made it on top of this world unless he was part of that club. Nothing but a deceiver. First time he spoke truth on TV, the so-called elite behind the scenes would have pulled the plug on him. He would have been done. It's that simple. Now, taking a look here at Bill Clinton again and John F. Kennedy. See, Kennedy is 33. You see how the matrix works with this occultic number of 33. Bill Clinton... Just what happens to take this picture during his youth with Kennedy. You think this is just a coincidence. This is a photo op knowing he was groomed for this position. Clinton changed his name from Bill Blythe to Clinton to get the 33. Do so you understand what's taking place here in this matrix of the world of 33? Now getting back again to Ronald Reagan and where he lived here in California. Out of all places... It was Bel Air, California. Again, the occult of the Bell. Even to take it a step further, the address of his home was 666 Cloud Street. And of course, they didn't keep it 666. They had to change it because it would be a little bit too obvious if they kept it 666 Bell Street. When you see here, let's take a look here. Bell residence, Ronald and Nancy Reagan. Reagan died in 2004. Nancy still lives there. The address was originally 666, but Nancy changed it to 668. Again, they had to change it. Can't leave it 666. Be quite obvious to the public of what's taking place. It should be obvious already, but again, many people are sleeping. Now, talking about Bel Air once again in the occult of the Bell, just like the TV show called The Fresh Prince of Bel Air starring Will Smith. Now, I find this Pretty interesting as well when it comes to the, one of the most occultic movies of all times. People talk about the connect with 9-11 and so much more when it comes to the Back to the Future series. Let's take a look here at this scene and what is said during the song. He can play the guitar like he's ringing a bell. This is pretty obvious what's taking place. I mean, again, everything about Back to the Future is the occult. This is one little thing that has you know, slipped through the cracks as far as the occult with the mention of the bell. And of course, the Christmas deception, with Christ supposedly being born on December 25th, when it again was actually Nimrod's birthday, and you see the bell symbolism all over the place. The song, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle All the Way. All the way to hell, looks like here. Fortunately, they have a stranglehold all over society. Every aspect. One thing I want to point out, too, when it comes to these bells for Christmas, let's take a look here, for example. Understand here what these are. These are holly tree leaves. Okay? So, when they use these concepts these holly leaves. It's all about witchcraft as well. Just like Hollywood, like I explained before. Well, the ancient druids, they used to make witches' wands and magic wands out of the holly tree wood. So, that's how you get the name Hollywood. And again, specifically, out of all the trees they use the leaves for, for these with these bells to incorporate with these basically satanic bells, they use witchcraft with the holly tree leaves and again, it's pretty, you know, pretty shocking. You take a look at every part of society. Of course, people, again, people don't want to believe this. They want to stick on the lie system that they're too smart to be deceived. Well, unfortunately, you are if you believe in the system that is presented by those that own and control this world in every aspect. Again, with Christmas traits, states in Jeremiah and the Bible, do not 
cut the tree from the forest and line it with silver and gold. And this is what Christians do. I believe in God, of course. I believe in God 100%, but in a creator. But as far as what is presented, the mainstream, no way. Again, every part of our society is created by them. We don't have a say-so. We just have to go along with the ride with those that own and control this world. You know, of course, when you use YouTube, what do you see? The notification of a bell. Same thing with Google. It's all about the occult of the bell. You know, a lot of people, you know, they live their day by day life just trying to get by, you know, make, trying to make ends meet. And they have no idea what is taking place in this world. This world full of nothing but lies, nothing but deception. This is the devil's deception with the occult of the bell. Now let's take a look at WCW Wrestling. Back in 1989, I saw this live on TV with the Clash of Champions 7. And what do you see? The debut of a tag team called the Ding Dongs. And they're wearing orange outfits with the bells, of course. Now, who is behind all this? Why would they make up a tag team called the Ding Dongs? How ridiculous. Let's take a look at the owner of WCW Wrestling, Ted Turner. Now, this guy's an occultist, one of the so-called elite. In their corner... They have a bell, and this guy's ringing it. Give me a break. How far they go with these concepts, understand these wrestlers do not devise these concepts. They're just told what to do. Good thing they're wearing masks. How embarrassing. This concept by Ted Turner. Any way to fit the occult in, they know millions upon millions of people are watching professional wrestling. And again, always the occult. People have no clue what, what's taking place and why would they devise such a tag team? It's all what it's about, again, all about the occult. Now to continue on with the occult of the 4th of July, specifically when it comes to the fireworks, the companies, the fireworks themselves, the boxes, it's no different than Halloween. Just taking a look here at this very first one, Highway to Hell, just like ACDC. Taking a look here at this Phantom fireworks stand, you see the occult of this pyramid with this building and the phantom, which represents a spirit. As I mentioned many times before, ghosts are nothing more than demonic spirits. Ghosts are not your so-called family members or relatives. They come back disguised as family members, but they're not. Nothing more than demons. Just another example, again, with the purple. I stated many times as well, red and blue make purple. The color of royalty in witchcraft as well. Now, again, talking about how 4th of July, basically there's no difference between 4th of July and Halloween when it comes to the occult. Take a look here. Black magic. Get a closer look. What do you see here? An owl. You see some bats. It looks like a frog right here. And the switch with a crystal ball. I mean, more. I mean, again, I don't want to repeat myself too much when it comes to you know, the 4th of July appearing to be no different than Halloween, but just take a look. You've got the black cat, you've got the black bat, you've got the black widow, you have the cobra. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, this is all about, supposedly, the independence of the United States. It's more like celebrating Halloween during the summertime. Just taking a look at these... This devil's party it looks like you have a goblin, skeleton, of course a pumpkin here. Of course a pumpkin is orange. That's why they selected this pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern as a symbol for Halloween. And of course as well, for those that understand the occult, October is the only month of the year that is 33 as well. So you get orange pumpkins, that's 33, and you get the month itself that is 33. Again, you take a look here. The skeleton, the goblin, this almost looks like I'm not quite sure what this is. It looks like C-3PO. Maybe just a skeleton as well. Just this one's a little bit fatter. Now, let's take a look here. You get Demon Fire. I mean, all these fireworks. It's unbelievable. God of Fire. I mean, how obvious can it be? You got 666, Satanic Beast. I mean, they're not even trying to hide it. You have Unleashed the Beast. Of course, the Beast... 
is the Antichrist himself, just like Monster Drink unleashed the beast, no difference whatsoever. Taking a look, here's some other ones, here's another one, 666, Satan's Mark, I mean, come on, we can't see what's taking place, like I showed previously, Satanic Desecration, 1933, I mean, of course the occult of 33 with this specific firework, you have the Diablo, of course, in Spanish. Diablo is the devil. You have Satan's fury. You have Satan's revenge. Satan's gnaw. This is Walt Disney here. And you have, looks like, the rings of Saturn with these two fireworks here in the sky. I mean, give me a break. What is taking place here? Again, I want to, again, repeat myself. It's more like Halloween during the summertime. You get the Red Devil, very famous firework brand. You have Phoenix Fireworks. Again, you have the Red Devil box, the red and the blue. Again, red and blue is purple. Now, the occult with the red and blue, like I just stated, and I find this interesting as well, the upside-down pyramid. This is another symbol when it comes to Freemasonry. Like I show up many times here with the 33 in the upside down pyramid triangle. They also call this the woman's part as well. Let's take a look here as I showed in the very beginning of this presentation. With the cult of the bell. The red devil in the bell. Let's take a look at this one here with the devil above the ball earth. Let's talk about satanic deception. You have right here. Now, taking a look here at Phantom Fireworks. Again, Phantom is nothing more than a spirit, a demon spirit. And you have the color purple. Now, this is what I find very interesting. You have Red Devil and Pirate. Now, let's take a look here at the numerology chart, like I use so often. And Pirate just ha so happens to be 33, just like Freemasonry. Highest degree in the Scottish Rite. Now let's take a look here. An interesting connection when it comes to pirates. Of course, you have the skull and the bones. Just like you see here with John Kerry and George Bush. Of course, two bonesmen with the 322 skull and bones. You have Bush Sr. and you have again the skull and bones. So the connection with Freemasonry and pirates. Very interesting how they translate numbers into letters with their system that they have created going way back in time. Just taking another look here, this firework, you know, it's Devil's Revenge. And this is, again, the same basic concept with a pirate with the, basically the X, the X marks a spot. Now, you see things like this, Colorama, okay, this word is not used <laughs> in the English language too often. So you understand how they devise a concept of this name, Colorama. This is things like this you should look into when it comes to numerology and figure out what this is all about. Taking a look here and you're gonna see it's a 33. Okay, this is how they do it. Here's Colorama, their advertisement for their fireworks. You have little red, you have Yankee Doodle Dandy, this firework here as well. Now let's take a look here. Again, when I talk about the 33 and the occult of 33, let's look at this one here. Another 33, the fabulous Vegas 33. We have that connection as well with the 33s. Let's take a look here at the name fireworks itself. Numerology, Chaldean numerology, fireworks is 36. So you get the three and six, so you get six, the occult of 666. Very interesting how they come up again with these concepts for these names. You know, look at this very old firework box. Six pieces of devil on the walk. You just take a look at the, the name devil itself. You remove the D and you get evil. You spell it devil backwards and it's lived. Take away the D again, you get live or live. The, the name Devil is very interesting, how they came up with that concept of that name, how they you know, love to think, do things in opposites and reverse. 
with this language, this English language that they have created. Now, let's take a look here at Face of Devil. It's pretty creepy here. Broken glass symbolism on this one firework here. Breaking the dome almost. Have here Devil's Thunder, this particular one. Just a typical red devil with the pitchfork, the three. Like I stated earlier, here you have Devil's Delight, understand, D, D, just like A, B, C, D, it's one, two, three, four, you get the Occult of 44, and for those that have followed my channel lately, the Occult of 44, with Barack Obama being the 44th president, you, know, you have, again, the 44, and this is all about Corinthians 4 and 4, where it states in the Bible, how Satan is the god of this world. So I really believe they come up with the concept of the cult of DD444 for, for this very particular reason. Now taking a look here, this one here, again you have the red devil. Go on to the next one. You have cruelty devil. Let me just take a look at all these fireworks. I mean, by the way, I'm going through pretty much all these fireworks. All you see is Devil, Satan, Devil, Satan. And this is all about, again, supposedly liberating from England, from the independence, where we get the devil, where we get Satan, Lucifer. And it speaks for itself. I mean, let's continue on here. Again, Devil's Cauldron. Again, I showed this one already. Devil's Thunder. You have Little Red Devil. It's getting to be ridiculous. Daredevil, again, you get your 44. Another 44 with Devil Dog. Just another company with, again, the Devil Dog. Creepy looking little Devil Dog. Now, here you find duality. With the red and blue. You have this Thunder Bomb Firecracker Pack. As a kid, I remember buying this one. This was a very popular firecracker. Again, you have the phallus symbol here and the white horse symbolism as well. Now, again, talking about duality, let's take a look here. You have fire and ice. It's all about duality. The red and blue devil as well. Take a look at that. And again, talking about duality, you have Satan's polar battle. Just like, again, fire and ice. Taking a look here, the blue dragon, of course, the red and blue symbolism is all about Satanism. Taking a look at this one pack here, you have Kwong Man Lung. Give me a break. What kind of name is this? Devil's Brand or Devil Brand, I should say. Now, going back in time a bit with Payne's Fireworks. Fireworks, this, if you look around online, old fireworks are very collectible. This is, you know, something that people, you know, really have a, uh, a lot of fun with, you know, but of course, those behind the scenes, they take up everything that's, that has, you know, from music to Hollywood to fireworks. I mean, everything in society is satanic. Why is that? Because those behind the scenes are Satanists. That's why. I wonder why. People might say, well, you find Satanism in everything. That's because it's everywhere. You cannot find something that is not there. Okay, just take a look here. Again, the occult of the swirl. Another occult of the swirl. And also, the triple lightning bolts. Like I stated many times, it states in the Bible, Luke chapter 10, verse 18, where Jesus beheld Satan falling from heaven as lightning. And of course, Satanists love to do things in triple repetition which is when they cast spells, they do it in threes. That's what it's all about. Take a look here again. The, the Occult of Pains, you have this the Occult of Saturn. Fireworks, first on the fifth, and this is all about the, you know, the Law of Five, or the Fifth Age here. Take a look here. First place in the space race, in the idea of space. Pushing that idea, and again, more swirl symbolism with fireworks. 
Take a look here again at paints. Mine of Fiery Serpents. And just Halloween. I found this one pretty, pretty interesting here. With Astra's Crackling Cauldron, you get the CC for 33. But just take a look at all the symbolism here. You have an owl, you have the moon winking one eye. It looks like he's sticking his tongue out. Get even a closer look here. What do you see here? This witch. This is a Nazi witch. What is the deal here? You have the star, you have the pentagram, and the moon as well. But look at this, this Nazi sign here. I mean, give me a break. I mean, it's bad enough they have all the all this other stuff. And they have to throw in a swastika on this witch. <laughs> it's a complete joke. Now, again with the witch, the whistles witch, and also just like MM for thirty three, just like Wonder Woman, Willy Wonka. You turn the WW sideways, and you get a thirty three as well. Just like WWE wrestling, there's no E in the logo. You turn it sideways, you get thirty three. Now take a look here. Wicked Witch, same thing with WW being for 33. This witch here, you have the the occult of red and blue as well. Find the name interesting here, expressly for L. C. Hansen. In Pythagorean numerology, an L and the C are both 33. And Hansen, every time I see that name Hansen, I think about Chris Hansen with Orlando. Give me a break, that guy. You have witchcraft, all about Satanism with 4th of July. This is what it's all about with our society. Beautiful witch. Not too, you know, creative with this name here. You have witch doctor. And I find this interesting. The caduceus. Get a closer look here. Just like Bafflement. With the caduceus here. The phallic symbol and the dual snakes. All about duality. This one here with the monster. Of course, the the devil horns looks like a, uh, more or less, it looks like one of those creatures from the movie called Critters. Let's take a look here. I think people are getting the point. When it comes to all these images, I mean, it's completely, again, ridiculous. Again, another devil's poison. Have here, sky devil. Devil's golden ball. Seven Devils. Again, you have the DD for 44 with Devil's Dawn. I really love that 44 number. Again, Devil's Den. So this is, I mean, out of all the fireworks, you get the number 44 with the occult more than anything else. Also the 33, of course. Hell's Messenger. Lucifer's Revenge. Lucifer's Dragons. Diablo, and you have the pyramid symbolism on top. You have Diablo again. Demon Big Bang, of course. Fourth of July, you have the fireworks going off as a Big Bang, but also duality with the Big Bang Theory. It's funny how people believe in the Big Bang this is the world of opposites where you know, explosions destroy things. It doesn't create things. So the Big Bang Theory is just more or less mockery with that whole entire theory. How people believe that is beyond me. Bloody hell. Devil's Playground. That's what this world is. Nothing but the Devil's Playground. Hell breaks loose. Give me a break. We have here four... Four different fireworks, demons, creature, devil's daughter. Again, you get the 44, Grim Reaper, dragon's head, demon's lair, demon's whisper. You have here double demons. Again, duality. Again, the last one here, in the cult of 33 with mighty might. And there you go. This is... There's a few more online, but this is pretty much covers it all. All people need to see when it comes to, again, the occult of Fourth of July and fireworks. When it comes to Satanism, every single holiday, you, know, you have the occult 
course, like I said, with Halloween, with Christmas, with Easter, with Easter bunnies, nothing more than sex worship and fertility. And Christmas, again, with tree worship being nothing more than a perversion, nothing more than Satanism in plain sight. Thank you.